On this week's episode of Friend Code, is Pokemon Snap 2 ever going to happen? Pokemon Sword and Shield gets a new trailer. New job postings for the Breath of the Wild sequel. Hint at dungeons coming. And a Splatoon event is coming to Tetris 99. Welcome to a new episode of Friend Code. I'm your host, Michael Damiani. This week, I'm joined by Ian Hink. Hi. Kyle Bossman. Hello. We have a lot to talk about with Pokemon, Kyle. Yeah. It's exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of Pokemon. I actually, when I was going through the information, Kyle, I was shocked how much their website, the amount of information, the lore they put for each of the Pokemon in their entries that you just don't really get in the trailer, which is really interesting to see. We'll get to that. But I have a little bit of housekeeping I want to go over before we start. Of course. That's cool. Um, I just want to give everyone an update that uh, I'm going to reach out for new graphics, uh, for new intro graphic for the show. I uh, still need to do that. <laughs> You're getting rid of this old thing? I'm sorry, Damiani, okay? <laughs> this is great. I, would, I know I, I want to keep it, but I feel like everything's updated. It's like, am, am I the only one? I would not recognize it anymore. We're so far out of what friend codes looked like. At, like yeah. I would not even recognize this. Level. Oh, you don't even like get what it's referencing anymore. Yeah. yeah. That's tis true. Someone actually submitted us this out of the blue, heard about this, submitted us an entry, and it was basically like the Nintendo Direct intro, mm-hmm. but with friend code. Like, it looked very nice, but I was like, this is a little... You got to own your own brand. A little too much. A yeah, little yeah. too close. A little too close to that. So kind of thinking something out. Uh, I saw some feedback in the comments and in the questions for this week about the fate of Achieve It Yourself, a show that was conceived on an old episode of Friend Code, mm-hmm. um, a limited series event that you could check out on Patreon if you're a $5 and up patron. Event <laughs> even, yeah. Uh, it's all done now, right? Yep. All the episodes are all now not out. not even $5 and up, anything and up. Oh, it's $1 and up. Yep. I'm sorry, if dollar you're and up. you're a patron at all, $1. and up patron. Mm-hmm. We can't say patron at all because you can technically pledge one cent. Oh, and dollar know, and up patrons. Yeah, and we set we the, in the back, little behind the scenes thing, there's a way to make it all patrons or tiers, and Blowwort's always like, you need to select the tiers. You should never do all patrons because that opens it up to anyone who can pledge below a dollar. I never knew that. I yeah. thought it only went in full dollar amounts. Cool. Apparently it right. doesn't. I didn't know you could $1 pledge and up. cents. One dollar and up. Fun huh. back side stuff there. Um, so here's the thing. If there are, there's a week period where there's just like no news and we've got to come up with something. Yeah. Might Most r- weeks. Not most weeks. <laughs> Not most weeks. I'm trolling. We might, or I might, consider revisiting uh, doing an Achieve It Yourself style episode for Friend Code. But it'll be a special, limited, one-time event thing. Rare thing. It's not going to become a recurring segment on this show. And because it was a patron-only, limited-run series, it's a much bigger decision than me. It's not my call. To like bring it back in any yeah. form, and whether so, or not the show comes back, yeah, who knows? We may do it, yeah, again, but we may not. We, yeah, we don't. We haven't even discussed it yet. We're not even like, we yeah, we haven't gone that far yet. So just want to let you know, we, we do hear the feedback, but you know, nothing really to announce yet. You it know, was fun to do, though. It was fun to do. I want a season I, two. I would want love season, a season two. two. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. Who who would you get? What animation house would we get to do our season two? If it was an anime. I'm sorry, Damiani. Huh? Huh? No, no, it's not coming on I editing job. I'm I don't talking know about a lot like, of animation houses. Okay, Help me. I need. Help me. I, I need. So, like, I was trying to reference like One Punch Man season two having really bad animation. Got it. Got going it. Going down. Like, how do we avoid that? We it's can just like, use them. Whoever clerks got the yes. Korean bears driving. How can that be? Let's go with that. I, Ian gets to decide. I think Ian earned the right to decide. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Fun fact: I was before I like when I was like pre-researching for box peak on like budgets and like what kind of format i could use i looked at how much it would cost to oh. uh, get just like an, a series animated and it is much more than i could ever dream to afford oh yeah, yeah. when we were when we were pitching seedlings it was going to be like eight million dollars yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, you know what? I'll just do paper puppets. That it's fine. For CG. <laughs> yeah. That's for CG. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? Mm. Uh, I, I, I've been like thinking about some different ideas for maybe a, a recurring segment again. I know people like the music trivia stuff done in the past, mm-hmm. uh, especially at our anniversary event two years ago now, or mm-hmm. a year ago. That two was years year ago. two, yeah. Year two's event. Something like that maybe you could bring back, but, you know, keep thinking about it. So we'll see. But... I want to talk about some uh, some Nintendo stuff, some Nintendo news. 
It's Nintendo possibilities. It really sounded like you were just saying Tendo. You're saying Tendo. Some Tendo news. We got some, some Tendo Nintendo news. Nintendo news. Yeah. We're talking about some Tendo. And it's like, are we saying Tendo now? Is Tendo the thing now? Nintendo? Let us know if Tendo's the thing now, Damiani. Tendo is just Tendo without Nintendo. This is a week <laughs> that would not be blank. You have plenty of headlines this week. There actually were too many. Yeah. I had to make some cuts. Yeah. There were there were a lot of things that popped What'd up. What'd you cut? Just so, tell us what you cut, and we won't comment on not, it at all. We're not, it was in the patron post, and we will not be doing it, because I'm sure we're going to go over. We're not talking about the top 10 best-selling Switch games to date. They put out that information. Great. Why are you covering your mouth, Kyle? Because we're have, not supposed to talk. I have takes on this, man. Oh, okay. Not supposed to talk. You're not okay. able to speak. Uh, no. Nintendo, in their uh, recent uh, investor meeting, where they had their Q&A with their investors, uh, some of the more official translations have come out. One of them has a question about Nintendo's policy towards third-party publishers and what they would consider censoring, and they actually don't have a policy for that. They said, we're not going to step and in, interfere with third-party publishers. They do what they want. It's not our place to make that call. And you know, so people are like, oh, they have a, a mature content policy, apparently, for third parties, and you know where that was going to go and stuff. But not covering it on this episode. Sorry. Not talking about not that. Not talking about it. And uh, I believe the last one we're not talking about is, uh, oh, the Super Nintendo World leaks. The park. Oh, yeah. the, someone got photos of the model of the final, apparently the final version of what it's going to look like and posted those on social media. And now we know what uh, Super Nintendo World's going to look like when it opens in Japan next year. Not even close. Sorry, guys. It will not look like that. You don't think it's going to look like that? Okay. No. We're of, not talking about it. We're not talking about it, We're though. not talking about we're it. Not Instead, talking about that. we're talking about something I think people want to hear about. Yes. Because... This is something we here at Easy Allies love. It has a special place in our history. And we, uh, it is a something that's been asked of us to go back and do another stream of. We had a good it had, stream. It had a we legendary had stream. stream. Yeah, and really that good. would be Pokemon Snap. Oh, yeah, man. Because I'd never played it until yeah. that stream. And, and the boy, oh boy, was that great. Yeah, I wasn't there for it either. I missed out on this too. I was oh, not yeah. there for this legendary stream. I guess mm -hmm. I just put you there in my memory. Yeah, the weird thing when you get further away from something happening and your mind just like tells you it happened and you yeah. accept it as truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the further away you get, the, the harder it is actually remember it. Like when you're looking for a headphone adapter at your house and your memory just keeps putting it in places. And it's n in none of those places. Uh, I'm certain Huber was there because I remember saying him saying, here's your moment. Here's your moment. <laughs> When it was like, there's a squirtle, like you're, you're like coming up to a squirtle. He's like, here's your moment. Oh my god, it was the best. Kyle, stream. yeah, that game is amazing. I don't know why an idea just popped in my head, Kyle Bossman. Yeah, what if we did a show where we say we try and say like we remembered how this happened during a stream, mm -hmm. and then we say we try and like act like you just did right there, and then we play the clip. And see how it really was, and see how accurate you were. Honestly, that's a very good idea. You came up with another great and the show. Idea. And the audience rates it like, were you like, you know, yeah. let us know. How we're I would fail at that. Wow, I don't that's remember such a good anything. Idea. You could ask me a moment. New limited like time show coming in sometime. No, I'm anyway, producing live right now. Yeah, that's good. but what do we call it? Uh, here's your moment. Here's, here's your, your moment. moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is remember this, and then we're gonna do this moment. <laughs> Even though it wasn't a stream, we will. Uh, anyway, Pokemon Snap Two was brought up recently, though. In what capacity? So Game Central Are got to, unfounded. Game rumors? Central got to interview Pokemon series producer Junichi Masuda at E three. Lucky, lucky. I got to interview him once at yeah. Game Trailers. And I asked him about Mew in the original Pokemon. Oh, for pop fiction. And he had this amazing story about a middle schooler who tracked him down through email and uh, told him, like, I actually found a way to do it in the game and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Masuda the middle was schooler like, told him? Yeah. And <laughs> he was blown away by, like, someone who figured that out. It was like, whoa. He, he goes, that was one of the moments I knew this was a big deal. Like, people love Pokemon. Like, this is insane. <laughs> they asked him why there w hasn't been a Pokemon Snap 2 yet. Mm hmm um, game Central did. Uh, they brought up some examples, saying like last gen, the Wii U had a gamepad, you know, with the camera and everything. It like seemed like it would make sense. Mm -hmm. And now we got Nintendo's Labo VR. So wh where is it? And Junichi Masuda's response was, "All I can say is that I don't think we can just make the same thing again. So we'd have to come oh. up with a oh. very." <laughs> 
Wait, wait, wait. Stop. No, can, keep going. Okay. You know what? Keep going. <laughs> okay. I was like, whoa. I thought Kyle was going to correct me. He's like, Damiani, he did not say that. I'm like, no, I'm going to hear. Uh, sorry. What? <laughs> so we'd have to come up with a very unique twist on this if we do make another one. You know it's going to be a phone game. Oh, gosh, That Kyle. is rich. <laughs> <laughs> My question was, do you think Pokemon Snap needs a unique twist? And if so, that what is, is the it? The very definition of rich. <laughs> oh my god, we've triggered Kyle. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wow. So that series, that's the one that needs a unique twist. <laughs> that's the one where you can't do something over again. Huh? Oh, I see why you're mad. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah. I get it. Now. Okay. All right. Um, but really, they should just literally do like a new one. Yeah, with the so, switch where you just go yeah, like this with like the how switch do you and feel? that's it. Like you, yeah, you, you uh, gotta be a little. Ups- I think this perplexed. would be annoying. Honestly, I think it'd be a little. Well, annoying you can play it with a controller too. Yeah, but like, what about like VR Labo? They, the Game Central suggested that, mm-hmm. and I think when it was announced, that people thought Ga- Pokemon Snap might be actually. Oh, they might announce this alongside that. That would be a, showed, the, like a camera. That'd be like the killer right? app for it. I'd yeah, Fatal Frame, Fatal Frame, baby. But I mean, Kyle. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, you just kind of gave your answer there about like you, you don't think Pokemon Snap Two needs a unique twist. But what would you kind of want to see out of a Pokemon Snap Two if it were to happen? So it is. I mean, like it is an old game design, and it is a game that we completed fully within two and a half hours. So you know, it, it would need some modern twist to it. I do agree with that. Uh, I think that like sharing is the way to make that work. And so I would probably not do it on Rails. I'd probably give you like an open environment and just like how people were tweeting their Spider-Man shots or like whatever, whatever game has a photo mode, like people would want to share it if you can create funny moments and like funny expressions. And so it definitely would not have all the Pokemon in it. It would just have like the weirdest, wildest ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, And yeah, just, just plenty of ways to interact with them. I think would be really important. What about you, Ian? Is there anything you'd like to see like new in Pokemon Snap? Yeah, I mean, I think wa- being able to walk. Although, like, I think what it would do maybe is you have an open world kind of a deal, but then you find dungeons or something, mm-hmm. areas, and then you go on a cart, That's and cool those idea. are on. Ah, rails. so that's tri- okay. Because the rails were like yeah. the, cart. The, the rails were like the gameplay loop where it was yeah. like because you don't have all the time in the world. True. Like if yeah. you had all the time, there's no pressure to take a photo. Then it's what's the you know. Mm-hmm. But I like the idea of like. You go around and then you go to different locations for the things. I mean, I was also just thinking like they could pretty easily throw a snap kind of. They already sort of do uh, into Pokemon Go. You just you know gussy it up a little. Yeah, about that, Ian. Oh. About about throwing maybe Pokemon Snap doesn't need to be its own dedicated game. But I mean, I would love it on the Switch. Our first patron question uh, from Asbo. I always thought Pokemon Snap would be a fun mini game within a larger Pokemon game oh. where you can do a variety of, of activities related to Pokemon. It always frustrated me that we're given this big world filled with all these cute animals, and with a few exceptions, all we can do with them is fight. I'm wondering if the panel thinks that Pokemon would benefit from becoming an open world game that uh, happen to have gym battles and stuff. Basically, like with Pokemon Sword and Shield coming out with that wild area, mm-hmm. wouldn't that be a perfect Dude, opportunity? Or, or DLC for Sword and Shield, the thing I just said. Yeah. Like, put things in the wild areas that you enter that are little mm-hmm. on rails snap zones. Instead of max raids, you That'd know, be actually super have cool. dungeons. Yeah, <laughs> dungeons would be sick. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh... The thing is, like in like so, there's a there's a mini game in uh, Sun and Moon where you take photographs. Like that's there. You go to specific spots and you just like take stupid photos and you get stupid points, which accrue to something, and it's all very stupid. Uh, and then like I don't think is it in, stupid though? Yeah. Oh. And then make in, sure. <laughs> in the open world of uh, of Sword and Shield, I think that like. The Pokemon aren't animated well enough. Like, are or are not? Are not. So how they look right now. When you yes. look at the gameplay footage of it, just how they're, yeah, yeah. That's why they, exactly. they plus it up for the instanced on Rails. Right. Like, I, I think that's Dungeons. part of what Ian's talking about, too, is that, you know, because we are on our Rails, they can do, they actually get more opportunities to have really nice animations and have really cool moments. Because they can pre program it. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, n- no, I don't want that as a, a mini mode in some other game. I realize that, like, it's hard to stretch that game out into hours and hours. Um, but 
it's to me not a mini game. It has its own progression. It's had its own uh, like you know Dude, levels. And, so the first, so you make it like a tour company, okay. right? Yep. And so it's it's got like a two tier kind of thing. You you are somebody's nephew, and or Oak or whoever is is hired you, and you are taking control of this Pokemon tour. Photo- photographic tour company, mm-hmm. right? And so it has the open world thing, and you go to the different locations, you get on the tour van, and it drives you through these tours. And the first part of the game is you uh, go through each one and try to do your best, yeah. and then you can make improvements to the to the things, you know? And then the second half of the game is, like, running this tour company, and you can go back and do the things if you want anytime you make a change to the, to the tours or whatever, mm-hmm. but it becomes, like, a sim... Uh, and like you can go out and capture Pokemon to put in your little tour areas or something. That yeah. could be fun. And like more items, right? Like in Pokemon Snap, you get a, a something that makes them mad, and you get bait. Yeah, you know, right. So yeah. like, I think it'd be fun to have more things that would interact with Pokemon in different ways. With the Ems idea, you could you could really expand with that. You could you could try and take this in a serious direction. You could just like straight up dress the park, lost world it. Where your goal, like you're a Pokemon preservation team, and yeah. like you got it, like you have a time limit. So the Pokemon you miss, they don't get saved. Oh, it's like, <laughs> like the, uh, I mean, you can make it more lighthearted. Where you said your park guide or your like tour yeah, guide tour. thing, and have attractions with them. It's like, oh, they don't get an attraction; they got away. And like your customers are like, oh, I really wish you'd gotten, you know, that uh, that Jigglypuff. But you let the a Jigglypuff get away. How do you let a Jigglypuff? Well, it's saying in front of me, put us to sleep. We couldn't take the photo. Yeah. Uh, well, next time you better get you one. Buy, so you got to buy your phone. Yeah. So oh, like yeah, there, you got to yeah, get items yeah. and stuff. So like you yeah. got like research and that's stuff fun. like. I mean, that's obvious one, but like for the lesser known ones, it's like, oh, man, you got to use your Pokedex. Like, hmm, okay, this is how we get it. Like, it wouldn't be on rails all the time, but like you'd have to like yeah. set up like the perfect shot. Mm-hmm. And like if you don't get a high enough grade on it, it's like that doesn't count. Uh, our, our scientists can't reproduce that Pokemon without that photo like that. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I kind of like my like they go extinct if you don't save them. Yeah. Or the island's blowing up. High pressure, dude. <laughs> or, or, yeah, there's two prongs where you have to go out and get photographs. You have to get enough angles photographs of the, oh, of the Pokemon like, so that they can recreate them as animatronics yes. on the rides. <laughs> That makes sense. And then, like, and as a you miss, if you don't get one as a missing one, there it's like a like a spot of shame. Yeah. It's like, so it's like, like a, a kid cries when it goes by. It's like, like a Safari Pokemon Snap style photo game mm-hmm. to collect research for the other half, which is like a dark ride game <laughs> yeah. where you're producing these things and placing Pokemon animatronics. Yeah. And uh, they would park tycoon. And they would pay Jeff Goldblum when you don't get enough. He goes, now, now you do actually have Pokemon on your yeah. Pokemon door when yeah. you fail. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, fully uh, voiced. Yeah. One thing I did want to no make clear though spared. is that Pokemon like to battle. They love to battle. Yeah. It is, it's, it's, it's something the, they it's love. It's lore, yeah. You are helping them when you train them. And so like, hey, I get the idea like, hey, I'd like to do something else with them. They don't want to do something else with you. They want you to battle. <laughs> is that real? That's real. Ooh, I just had another idea. Huh. Uh in your research, you have to get the facts, right? And if you the more research you uncover, the more facts you have in your Pokedex or whatever. And then for the ride, you choose which snippets of facts go in the oh, VO for the yes. ride. That's but, kind of funny. But yes. then, like, Pokemon experts come from other regions, and if you're wrong, like, oh. if you put the wrong stuff, you get, like, a bad score from that, like, publication or whatever. They won't sign off on your park. They won't sign off no, on your park, off your if, park. You, if you put wrong information Th- in your This is VO. great stuff. This is kind of a fun game. It's not this even game just, would be it, awesome. You don't even just need one island. Like, it could be, like, here's the easy difficulty island. Yeah. Oh, you completed that? Yeah. Now let's go to the more medium difficulty island. Like, it's a little bit bigger, more Pokemon. Like, this is great. Like, travel to multiple locations. And it's, like, this recreating is... your memories, like, that time you saw Pikachu on oh. a surfboard. You know, you, you're like, well, I saw this i have the photos let's make the animatronic one of our patrons had a question that touched upon pokemon snap and they were talking about uh spin-off series in general and they want like basically it was like a what if of you know mario kart mario made mario kart and like all these other spin-offs like all these other games all these other nintendo franchises got spin-offs and then they make one pokemon snap and that's it like what if why did they decide not to keep making iterative versions of Pokemon Snap because it had a lot of potential to become a huge spin-off series that could have maybe even rivaled like Mario Kart or something in in success mm-hmm. and sales and yeah like it's kind of 
sad to think about that where you just have this fond memory of Pokemon Snap. It's good to go back to play, but it is what it is. There is no more to it. And your these great ideas we have, it's kind of sad to think they might never come to pass. Or and you might never get another chance to What's the someone's making an indie paparazzi. Someone's making an indie game. I think it's called Paparazzi, where you are going around to like a little beach town or whatever and taking pictures of dogs. Hey. <laughs> I guess we have to rely on that. Yeah. I, Damiani, I think they like don't know the demand that exists for it still. I wonder if the demand exists for it everywhere. If it's just like a North just American, us? a US thing. It is it be, like yeah. is it like as popular over in Europe? In Japan, do they love it as much? The I'm, most the most important thing to me about Pokemon Snap, and like I came into it, you know, last year or whatever. But I assume that you all have the same feeling about it. Is like there's like a a, a coziness and a purity to it. It just mm. has the best vibes, mm. and the new one would need that. Yeah, they couldn't try to like microtransaction it or do anything like that. Oh, it has yeah, to just be no. like pure vibes. I want it to be the best looking Pokemon game. Oh like, yeah, like it better like it's like this Ray is tracing. a visual treat. Mm -hmm. Like that is the best looking Pikachu right there. Yeah, I want to see that. Um, one last Patreon Ooh, question. Wait. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I, I'm just having ideas left and right. I didn't see Pokemon Detective Pikachu because I wanted to, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't get to. But you could do like, you could take that angle too, where you have to take like evidence photos. <laughs> Solving the Pokemon <laughs> mysteries. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Actually Keep working going. with Detective P That might be their angle, Kyle. Detective Pikachu. What if they did that? Because there like, is a Detective go. Pikachu yeah. game, right? Yeah. I still want to be on Rails. Ian's convinced me that's, that's okay. the core of the game. It's, so, the, it's the pressure that, yeah. Let me yeah. ask you this. This comes, a uh, second patron question uh, has a, poses, it's from Morgan Mahala, Morgan Mahala sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, is Pokemon Snap 2 too antiquated of an idea for consoles? Would it do better as a mobile game similar to Pokemon Go, but tuned so that you can actually catalog the whole roster in your local area? So kind of evolving yeah. with the times. Maybe it doesn't make sense to be a console game. Maybe it makes sense to be a phone game. How do you feel about that? Uh, it does not make sense to try to get the whole roster. Because yeah. the appeal is just like... It, the appeal was like checking out like a like a, a coughing in a natural environment, right? Like that is you just can't do that with all eight hundred plus. You can't have those moments that yeah. you had with those. You can't use your moment. You can't do that if it's just <laughs> another stupid random Pokemon doing its standard animations, just hanging out by the side of the water, right? Like those Squirtles like rolled down the hill and then went into the ocean, right? So it's like. It's, it's not feasible to do it with all of them. And I think if you do target that, if it's like a little AR game, uh, it becomes not what Pokemon Snap's about. Okay. Okay. Here's another idea. Mario Kart Snap, where you can play it solo or two-player. You have a person in the passenger seat I... as you're driving the things, and they're snapping like they've got a really fast lens. That would get... And they're just snapping pictures out the side of the I'd get so car. sick playing that. <laughs> I like, think that's uh, a really good sickness. idea. That'd be nuts. Like clips of uh, you know Luigi Death Stare were so hot. Yeah, it'd be really funny and weird. They work with I think like replay mode and stuff, trying to get that, that perfect moment. Imagine mm -hmm. being like first person perspective in the back with like shaking. Like people do it, man. Uh, I guess it's just a me thing, you know, with like hating like that perspective. But yeah. it could work. I was thinking like other games that Nintendo does that do do on rail stuff, like uh, Captain Toad stuff would be like a mode where you go through there and you just like take like you gotta because you gotta find like the the 2D Luigi in some mm -hmm. of those things. But now it's like what are they did a photo mode where you go in first person yeah. and you get to see up close or like Donkey Country, uh, Donkey Kong Country like rail on rails mine uh, minecart levels and stuff yeah. like that. It's like yeah, second player like you know. And maybe like, maybe in like thing. in the Mario Kart Snap or whatever, yeah. Maybe the the photo player, it's if it's split screen, the photo player has like a limited slowdown ability where uh, it's like, Shh, got I it, see. and then it like cuts back to real time. You know, that's good. Yeah, that's mandatory. Yeah. It'd be that. cool if the Labo could hook up while someone plays on the actual Switch oh, and they Lord. get a normal view, <laughs> and then the Labo person it will do slow down for them. So like the, the, Labo is a switch, man. You just throw your a switch. new Labo, yeah, yeah. like no, a new one. Oh, like, okay. Like Labo two here. Okay. Like PlayStation getting a new VR. You know, mm -hmm. Nintendo's gonna have to make a new one. Soon. Labo two. Labo it's two. It's made out of sure. tin new foil. Feature. Just a way to give you, as Ian was saying, like instead of split screen, two different views, like mm -hmm. two different screens to look at. So you could do the slow down, slow down mechanic on the photographer's screen, but not mess with the main driver's screen. Like they still see real time and stuff. Well, slow I think down it, happens, and it'll if like it's catch split up. Split screen then. 
the the photo person it just after the slowdown it just cuts in their back in real time. Oh yeah, do it yeah. on the other screen too. As as, as so with split screen, the driver might see that and might dis- disorient them for a second. Super Whereas if annoying. you get you like if yeah. you do like land mode or something. Mm-hmm. I get like that, and like it could do that jump cut. Oh, yeah, jump! Yeah, and when yeah, you come yeah. out of it, oh, we're over right over here and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. These are good ideas. But do you think? Let's end this here. Mm-hmm. Wallow do you, you sneak in love though. Still waiting on that <clears throat> Nintendo. We had a couple of bad meetings, and now we're waiting to see if they're calling us they, back. They won't call us back. <laughs> 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 they threw us out, kind of. Uh, to be frank, uh, yeah. You can't get back in through the door anymore. And I thought we had Security a chance when Doug Bowser st- took over. You know, I thought yeah. we had a chance. Yeah. Going to this in. All right, literally just like walked up to you and said, never. Yeah. I tried that like love actually thing. I went outside the window uh, on there. I was like, I posed as a window washer. Mm-hmm. Went up, they were having a meeting. And then I had the, the cards, the signs. And I like had the message about like Waluigi sneak in love. But then they just kind of like walked over and slowly yep. closed the blinds on me. And then I was stranded up there for like an hour and a half. Oh, because it's hard to get down. I didn't know how to work the mechanism. Yeah. That's unfortunate. (laughs) Let me finish it up here, though. (laughs) Please. We're never going to let you finish it, Dummy. Do you think (laughs) Pokemon Snap 2 will ever happen, realistically? I would love it, too. I guess not. I guess a game called Pokemon Snap 2 will never happen. Okay. Wait. But Pokemon Snap 2, like... Like in the snap military, like snap to it, like mm. snap to. I think like Pokemon Snap, like Super or something, like Pokemon Snap, Super cuties, Pokemon Snap. You know snap. what I mean? Like it could yeah. happen, but yeah. yeah, I think a game called what Pokemon about an snap. HD remaster of Pokemon Snap. That'd be dope. Damiani, don't get me started on HD remasters of Super or Nintendo sixty four games, which all need it. No, oh, yeah. all of them, all of them. But need like, it. would that get you excited though to replay the original one again, just looking nicer with graphics? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. Heck yeah. I'm ready to play it on my to, like, Switch. Meet if they you put halfway here. Snap on the Grafico Switch. de los Moderno. Modern graphics. Yeah. Sort of. Um, if they put <laughs> sort of. If they put <laughs> regular regular N64 style Pokemon Snap on the Switch, I would pay for it. Okay. I would pay for it. Yeah. All right. Take our money, Nintendo. Woo. We'll see. Optimism, maybe. We got more Pokemon to talk about. Okay. Because today. Nintendo dropped a new Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer. New two-minute trailer. Mm-hmm. Went over a few uh, updates and uh, new reveals for the upcoming pair of games. First of all, the first part of the trailer revealed four brand new Pokemon. Is it Alcremy? Is that how you would pronounce it? I would do Alcremy, so the Alcremy? pun works. Because so, so it's Alcremy. Alc- yeah, like, yeah. Even though also, it's like yeah, Alcremy is cooking. Weird. Well, because it's like... Their whole thing is cream, yeah. And like they are like it's cooking. Like they're they're as we'll talk about later. They're Gigantamax versions, like a giant cake. It's like oh okay, maybe it isn't al creamy. Wait, Gigantamax. We'll get to that. Don't worry. I should. I didn't see this. Um, <laughs> so this was the first one that was revealed in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, this is a new fairy type. Its ability is Sweet Veil, and uh, I'm kind of curious. Did either of you? I'm guessing no. From here, did any of you read the websites? Further, kind no. of like background story descriptions. No, on you guys, you guys. So I want to read you. I want to read you these. I want to see your reactions to okay. to Alchemy's backstory. Desserts made using, I'm uh, oh, sorry, Alchemy can produce whipped cream, which becomes richer the happier Alchemy is feeling. That is so gross. <laughs> That's truly gross. It gets grosser, that, Kyle. The, the, <laughs> keep going. Keep going, then. Desserts made using this cream are invariably delicious. So many pastry chefs strive to have an alchemy as their partner. So there's just... What? I'm just happy there's finally a gay Pokemon. <laughs> like, out. It's good. Right? It's good. It is good. Like, technically, yes. they won't let any two males or any two females uh, mate. Really? Yeah. In uh, the games? In the games, yeah. Alchemy is the first. We'll see. We'll see if two <laughs> Alchemy of the same sex can mate. Life, I'm, I'm life will find a way. I'm Where do we think it. the whipped cream... Like, it's made of whipped cream. Where do we think it, like... Right. That's my <laughs> thing. Is, like, it's giving of itself Yeah. to... So, does it get smaller every time it... 
This is morbid, man. You're like, yeah, it's like we, Pizza I, the Hut. I feel, yeah, we need like this more info on this. This thing gets locked in a car. It's, it's going to eat itself. But they made a mistake. There's some more. They did the wrong thing. Also, I thought they were done with the like weird inanimate object Pokemon. Oh, no. Not oh, no. Like the keys, the ice nope. cream cone. Nope. nope. Oh, boy. The cream it uses for this There's purpose. There's still more about alchemy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry. So here. You you got you made me skip some stuff, but okay. Was, okay. So after the dessert, so like a lot of chefs like having them as their partner. Yeah. Okay. When attacked by an opponent, Alchemy will throw sweet scented cream to distract them or temporarily blind them, giving itself time to escape. And going off your what you were asking, Ian, that could be even really morbid. Is it like sacrificing yeah. some of its like self or off potential offspring to like escape like that? Also, if it's sweet smelling. As a defense, that means it's happiest when it's being attacked? Because it can only produce sweet cream when it's being attacked? It, 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 I mean, its cream becomes richer the happier alchemy oh, is feeling. Okay, not sweeter. So okay, 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 okay. Also, I just realized... Like there are some exceptions in the animal world, but like most of the time, you need a, a, a male and a female animal to produce an egg. It's just something you're gonna Worms. need. Worms. Yeah. There's uh, a word for flowers. that where they can be seahorses. Seahorses. Pollina Wait till you see what a seahorse does. <laughs> Pollination is another species. The males get pregnant in the yes. seahorse. It's amazing. <laughs> if only I could. <laughs> Same. <laughs> uh, the last little tidbit about alchemy. Okay. The cream it uses. Stop talking about the cream! The cream it uses. <laughs> the one that he throws at the enemies yeah. to escape. The cream it uses for that purpose has an incredibly powerful soothing effect. And any opponent that tries to eat the cream will rapidly lose the will to battle. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> And then it just chills out? Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> and then you can, like, hang out and take photos together, I guess. But I swear they all want to battle. <laughs> this will definitely be a Pokemon Snap, too. <laughs> is will, what? You will absolutely have to go Is my this. mind in the gutter, or is this the, like, most overtly sexual? I mean, you you can totally read it that way. It's being read in text, but in, like, the trailer, it's clearly, like, oh, food stuff. It's about, like, you know, right, it's right. culinary, yeah, edible yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. meant to be, like, oh, like a delicacy thing, and it's when you read it like this, you mean you can make it sound easily sound uh, sexual in that way. <laughs> no getting around that. Uh, I don't think any of the other three Pokemon left uh, uh, fall into this pitfall, though. Okay, we got we'll Yamper see. next. Dildomon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so actually, there's someone that's close to that. No, okay. Uh, Yamper, an electric type with the ability called Ball Fetch. It's kind of like a doggy Pokemon. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, oh. Although when it chooses its move, it like kind of like. Use its butt to like kind of like do a butt hit. It's got a little hard on its butt. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is the corgi one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Precious. Yam Yamper has a tendency to be Yamper. drawn to things that are moving quickly. Okay. Yeah. Mm, sure. Don't think that needed to be stated. Pretty yeah. obvious. You know what? Don't even write that. Yeah. <laughs> Yamper has an organ in its body that generates electricity. Mm. And this organ is activated when Yamper runs around. So okay, static. this is cool. I'm into yeah. this. Yeah. Static boy. Yamper can't store the electricity it generates, so it's often seen running around with electric sparks crackling around it. Okay. Pikachu can store it. Pikachu can store oh, yeah. it. Oh, Pikachu. Yeah. That's... We got to, we gotta like, crossbreed a Yamper and a Pikachu. Well, they won't let you do that. Yeah. yeah. Yampachu. Unfortunately. Actually, you totally can crossbreed. Wait. It's just like you get like different Pokemon can mate, but like the the Pokemon that comes out of it will be one of the other Pokemon. Yeah, it won't be oh, like a yes. hybrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's a good correction there. So we can. Hey, let's do this. But let's do it. Yeah, they didn't have mating in Let's Go. Right. I didn't have to deal with that. It's a simpler know. game. I didn't know mating. that was really a thing. Is. I it didn't really, really is. Did the original have mating? No. Oh, okay. I think it'll ever get as complex as Fire Emblem. <laughs> with like Pokemon social. Fire and stuff Emblem like that. is simple, man. Or Crusader Kings. They care about people's feelings and stuff. Like, you got to uh, throw that on top of the Pokemon. Pokemon breeding okay. is this whole ridiculous dude. Do Pokemon have feelings? But, yes. I mean, you got to you actually show, worry about abilities sure. and stats in, in Fire Emblem now being passed down to the kids. Yeah. You got to worry about that. Uh, Yamper's ability, mm -hmm. Ball Fetch, is a new ability introduced in the, these games. And it will come into Isn't play when Pokemon? you throw a Pokeball at a wild Pokemon but fail to catch it. <gasps> 
and here. So as long as oh, it'll get the ball back. So as long ball. as Yamper isn't holding an item, Master it will ball. go fetch that Master Pokeball ball. that failed to catch a Pokemon, regardless of what type of Pokeball it is. Oh well, actually, Master Ball catches it no matter what. Right. Yeah. So okay. but like well, everything else really below cool. it, yeah. it will fetch it. So, so wait, you can if, throw the same Ultra Ball over and over and over, basically. Yeah. If you yeah. have them in your party only. If you or, use the ability Ball Fetch, and as long as Yamper isn't holding an item. You can. There go. has to be a limitation. Yeah. Oh, so it sounds like it, he'll just take that and attach it to himself as his item. Mm -hmm. So I can't throw the same Ultra Ball. Over can't and over do it a million over. times. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is fair. That's still fair. a cool concept. Otherwise, you know, there'd be no downside. That's yeah. like a, a thing that I'm sure people have, like dreamed about. Like I wish I could just get that ball back. You know, mm -hmm. I, I regret that. No. Yamper, thank you, Yamper. You saved a day. Yeah. Yamper's I just a hero. assumed it was because they had some kind of like extra dimensional property. They're like. They're like Tardises or something because they can fit so much inside of them that, like, if you whiff, they, like, dissipate. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, extremely volatile technology. Right. They, it like, materialize, and if you whiff, they disappear. Yeah, this they is just more lore-breaking. Something... I don't appreciate like, this. Like, I think, I, oh, my, in my head, this is not official, but uh -huh. in my head, like, it has, like, a, like a kind of, like, frequency or some kind of, like, DNA sample that, like, is set to neutral. And once you throw the ball, and once it makes contact with that Pokemon, it tries to and print that upon the ball. And if it fails, you can't undo that to the ball. The ball's no good anymore. Oh. It, like, it is now unique to that Pokemon. If the Pokemon rejected it, it's like, sorry, the ball like shuts down and will never work again. Mm -hmm. So like that's that. that's like what it takes to catch a Pokemon. It's gotta like get its DNA and everything like that. It's gotta like like perfectly kind of like fuse that. And if that doesn't go perfectly, it's too dangerous. It's like the Pokemon's rejected this. This is like you could hurt the Pokemon. This is like so. Yamper a, doesn't care. So as a safety thing, but these are like Yamper probably has like something where it can reset that. The, and actually, the saliva breaks Yamper, down the DNA. Yamper is like a, a highly evolved Pokemon, like, like that can undo that. Mm -hmm. And so they're very valuable. They're kind of like Ayn in Cowboy yeah, yeah. Bebop. It's a they're data like a data dog. dog. He's a data yeah, dog. they're a data dog. Okay. He's a data dog. Like a Corgi. Sure. Yeah, there you go. That's why he's got all that electricity coming out of him. Okay. There you go. Fair enough. I like this. Has and and that's, why he, that's why he can't store it because yeah. he has it to. Out. Yes. It's too much there power. Yeah. <laughs> Our next one is Roly Coley, a rock type with an ability called Steam Engine and Heat Proof. Is Steam Engine new? I don't. We'll get to it. I, uh, okay. Oh, yes. Steam Engine is a new ability introduced in these titles. Cool. So there you go. Good catch, Kyle. Uh, it's red eye Good catch, Kyle. can you. illuminate dark areas while it uses the lump of coal attached to its body like a wheel to move through coal mines in caves. It uses the lump of coal like a wheel. No, it doesn't. A wheel is a very specific shape. I know. This is... How do you spell roly-coly? I want to see this. R-O-L-Y-C-O-L-Y. Okay. Like roly-poly. Yeah. So it runs... It, okay. It rolls, it rolls around on a piece of coal. He's just a big roly-boy. Yeah. 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 He rolled around. Um, here's an interesting... There's some world-building lore here. Until about 100 years ago, okay. every oh, household yes. in the Galar region had a roly coly. Okay, all right. The families would use the coal that dropped off its body for cooking and heating their homes. Mm -hmm. so there you go. What happened 100 years ago? They I think like technology advanced that they don't need coal anymore. They oh. don't use coal power, so. Yeah. I was yeah. picturing like a roly coly like mm. rebellion. So here's an interesting thing. Roly Coley's ability, Steam Engine. A Pokemon with this ability will get a speed stat boost if it's hit with a fire or water type move during battle. What is its type? Uh, it is rock. Oh, that's cool then. Yeah. I believe I believe water is effective against rock. Yeah. I always get corrected on this stuff because ground and rock are two different types, and to me that's the exact, exact, exact same thing. Oh, I'm... Yeah, That's I mean, if it looks like a rock, I use water against it. Usually. Yeah, exactly. And then you get an like it's a great erosion. It's like, oh, I it's like it. yeah. Yeah. So that, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Because he's gonna be a slow boy too, probably. Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, maybe the wheel but thing is gonna be some sort of thematic. Like maybe it evolves into like this cool rock rock mm. motorcycle. Dude. Oh, Kyle. Yes, that'd be cool. And the one eye is like a headlight. Yeah. And steam oh, engine. Oh, there you one go. One headlight. Yeah. Mm. Like that tune. Or a big train or something. Yeah. Yeah, big train, big cool. Yeah, choo choo train yeah. going on the mine. Cart. Yeah, I mean yeah. this engine, like they're clearly going somewhere. Yeah, with this. yeah, yep. yeah. Like instead of Roly Coley, it becomes like R R Rocomotion or something. 
Roca Motion, dude. Come on, come on, do the Roca Motion with me. It's good. Uh, you two are so good to have on here. Yep. We know. Our f- Except we make it take like 80 minutes Nine to get to like it. <laughs> one We're on your second headline. Yeah. Uh, the other ones aren't as intense as this. This, this is the yeah, meat man. of the episode. Okay. Like, okay, this good. is like 70% of the episode. Here are the worry. potatoes. Uh, the final one, uh, Duraludon. D-U-R-A-L-U-D-O-N. Duraludon. Yeah, this one you're going to need to see. This Steel guy's crazy. Steel dragon type mm-hmm. ability, light metal, heavy metal. Go on. This, uh, the metal component... Have you, oh, you've seen it, but Ian has not seen it, right? Yeah. Let's take a look at it. The metal composing its body is incredibly durable, but also surprisingly light. It only weighs about 88 pounds in total. Okay. I could lift that. Thanks to this, Duraludin can move quite quickly in spite of its appearance. Mm. He's nah. 5'11". <laughs> its body is weak to corrosion, However, it is known to rust easily. Mm. The, t- the okay, their two arms have slightly different shapes from one another, or from each other. They use those to grind down rock surfaces for food. That's the nice kind of specific. I like that a lot. He eats food. Finally, I mean rocks. <laughs> they share their habitat with Tyranitar, and these two Pokemon are often seen battling each other in the mountains of the Galar region. <laughs> They're just trying to make it relevant, man. Yeah. Uh, do you like Tyranitar? <laughs> These two hang out. They're friends. You know what I mean? Like, so like when you have your camera other, yeah. now, it's like, oh, get them fighting together. That's yeah. like one of your requirements. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> but yeah. that game. they don't fight. Uh, can you explain light metal, heavy metal? Uh, yeah, it wasn't on that? there, actually. Oh. I thought it was. Uh, well, but yeah, that's it. it had that. I don't think it's on the site. I wonder if that's an old one that's like. I mean, it might I be. An, I think it's an existing move because yeah. then say it's new. So unfortunately, mm-hmm. I'm not. I I'm going to look that up. Yeah, go ahead and look that up. Okay. Um, while I go through the next set, the uh, next part of the trailer, uh, ah. went through some uh, new characters. Ah. We got to take a look at uh, then some new gym leaders as well. First off, they showed off Chairman Rose. Rose is the chairman of the Galar Pokemon League and also the president of a large business conglomerate. Nice. This is the person in charge of the whole like kind of like Pokemon uh, gym challenge thing that's going on. Vibes. Yeah, he's made the Galar Pokemon League world famous. By implementing gym battles featuring the Dynamax phenomenon. Ooh, so Dynamax is only something that can happen in this area? Yeah. I mean, I, I knew that from the whatever, but that's but this uh, story is the, wise, I didn't realize. He's the genius for finally saying, oh, we should use this ability in our gym fights. It'll make us special. Yeah. Take that other regions of Pokemon. Yeah. He's also the one who first endorsed Leon for the gym challenge. That's like the best Pokemon. Like yeah, yeah. trainer right now in the lore in the of this thing. He's the champ. He's the champ. He's in that first trailer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool guy. Next character they introduced was Oleana. Oh, is it Oleana or Oleana? How would you pronounce that? O L E A N A. I would do Oleana. Oleana? I have a bizarre update. Okay, on Kyle, I gotta hear this. I like you were like really yeah, gross in it. Like, okay. So was, first of all, it's been around for a while since Gen 5. Light metal halves your weight. If your Pokemon has the ability oh. light metal, its weight is cut in half. It's going to go even ridiculously fast at that point. It's already light. If you have heavy metal, your weight is doubled. But that's it? Yeah. So I guess you either catch this one and it's light or you catch that one oh, and it's heavy. Oh, so it's, an, it's like a, it's a random There's ballot. no way it can have both. So yeah. its ability is... Oh, I thought it you can, could activate it. it. No, you can't even activate it. It's just like he walks in with double the weight. So you basically, if you keep getting it to proc light metal on that use, you're mm-hmm. going to be insanely high agility. Like you're going to be like going first. It Does, doesn't affect speed at all. It's just the attacks that are based off weight. Oh, so it's stat cal- uh, damage calculators. Yeah, okay, yeah. That. For heavy slam, heat crash, low kick, and grass. So we're guessing it's moves. I think are, it's a moves. buff. So its moves are probably heavy moves are probably like the what, uh, heavier it is the worse it does maybe like maybe it's attacks uh, well some moves are like hey if you're this much heavier than your opponent you're going to do more damage uh and then some are like hey if this pokemon is this much weight it's gonna okay take this much so it gives you an option this. then yeah. okay okay yeah, yeah. so it's for okay but it doesn't give you an option man like it, you could there's no way one pokemon can have both light metal and heavy so metal. You, you, just, I, I mean it, it had could, a though, slash in this said, ability it said battle it said battle and then it said the user doubles its weight which to me means that you can strategically get heavier or lighter. You can't. You simply can't. Okay. What's that dragon's name? Dragon. 
What is it? Dugemeyer? I forget his name already. Uh, oh, d- d- uh, sorry. In what? This, this one. It's uh, oh, pronounced. No, no, it's a uh, Duraludin. Duraludin. Dugemeyer cannot change Dugemeyer. his weight on a weight. Wait, are you disputing that it's not realistic? I, no, I'm, I'm disputing that. I, I, I think when it had a slash on there, it means it's going to have, once you catch it, you need, you're going to you learn that it has one. one of the, yeah. You don't pick, man. Okay. Unless you're breeding, and then you're like, oh, this one has the wrong ability? Toss it away. <laughs> this is what breeders do. This is, it's a dirty I, Yeah, business. that's true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, not as familiar with this move, but interesting. Okay, so anyway, Time I, think this, I think this is a bad guy. Okay, so you think uh, Chairman Rose is the villain? Yeah, he's oh, very yeah. charming. He's okay. got a, like this. If they weird... run a company, they're a bad and guy. And it said yeah. he's the one responsible <laughs> in a Pokemon for, game. He's built this league up, and its popularity is due to the Dynamax phenomenon. So yeah. it's like sounds like shady business guy was like, mm, let's push this, even though it's not safe for people." Yeah. What if it's like really bad for the Pokemon? Do you think this yeah. game is about stopping the Dynamax phenomenon? I mean, it could be even more than that because they say is. the Galar region is the only region where Pokemon work side by side with people. They're exploiting maybe these Pokemon. They, maybe that's a message of the is that like uh oh we were like we're we're explaining the pokemon we need to set them like someone from our region says like they find out the truth or sorry someone from the game find out the truth and says we, we gotta undo the society like yeah. we gotta like you can't use these electric pokemon to po- power up your factories anymore you know you can't do that they just want to fight they just want to fight as kyle said they're gonna set them all free in the wild area at the end that will be the ending of the game I mean, this is the one where pokemon fir- goes dark in the first game in pokemon oh, blue yes, i know there's a machoke who's like doing construction and yes. there's voltorbs in the it's power it's been plant. around forever yeah they've yeah. been they've been using pokemon I don't, for a long like, time but the actual dynamax mechanic actually might be dangerous for pokemon it might not be a natural phenomenon you find out because Remember the pre-order? Oh, we'll talk about it later. There's yeah. there's something about like these items that can trigger it apparently. Yeah. So we'll see about that. Uh, he's got it's very a, harmful for them. It's, very, it's like a it's full very... body priapism or something. <laughs> this is terrible for them. The yeah. <laughs> Oleana was also introduced to us. Great. Yep. Uh, sorry. This we're is, on Oleana. Back this, on track. This yeah. is Rose's secretary and is known for a calm and collected personality. Funny, she's the real I, bad guy. I feel like she's the only one who got like a personality description uh, about them. Like that they actually use the word personality. Yeah. Interesting. She's got a personality. She also serves as the vice president of Rose's company and in fact largely in charge of the day-to-day running of the company. She's the real, yeah. I feel like Kyle, yeah. You think it's her? I think it's her. I think she's the one who like we're going to team up with. If she's really friendly to you up front, I would be True. suspicious. If she's good yeah. up front. She's definitely the bad guy. So that's all we got from uh, from those two, and we met two new gym leaders. Mm-hmm. Uh, first one, uh, I'm saying B. Yeah, like, like B. Arthur. Yes. Yeah, like yeah. B. R. Is a prodigy in Galar karate, carrying on its century old traditions and techniques. Galar karate. Galar karate. They have their own discipline of karate style. And it goes back a hundred a century <laughs> old. So like, it was it was formed after Roly Coley stopped being uh, yeah. used in houses. Like imagine if there was such thing as English karate. English. There are many things like that. Are there? Is there something yeah. like yeah. English karate? karate? Is yeah. there American karate? I can't think of examples in this Brit- moment. Maybe like British but karate, there are lots like... of like dance types that are from like a region. Yeah. There are lots of, you know, this Brazilian and that. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Like, come up with your own word for your own fighting type. Don't use karate. Oh, you think that would be better? Like, oh. it would be, co- like, don't use karate in a, fi- in a fictional karate. setting. Yeah. But, like, doesn't it convey immediately what it is, though? It does, dude. But she's a martial artist. I okay. did not, I, so yeah. Galler martial arts might have just been better to say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, Galler fight. She's There's also, been a lot of karate in Pokemon yeah. already, to be fair. But obviously, she's an expert, also an expert on fighting type Pokemon. She's known for her. Sorry, there's personality stuff here. I was wrong. Correction. Okay. She's known for her stoicism and very rarely shows her emotions. Oh. It seems her battle style remains very precise, even when she's backed into a corner. She never loses their cool. Mm-hmm. Looks like they could thoroughly beat you up. And like if, if the Pokemon weren't fighting and you had to human fight, yeah. you would lose. Not a lot but, of human fights in Pokemon. Yeah. Not, have there ever been? I can't cite one one human fight. Team Rocket's probably like smacked somebody. Like sometimes at the end there'll be, yeah, just like a little Oh yeah, they get into the little powder like fighting each other. <laughs> but like the little smoke ball. It's hard to believe that, you know, there's there's a, a I don't know, man. I guess that you just do martial arts against your Pokemon. You just get beefy together. Yeah, you train. Practice yeah. with Harm- the, yeah. what's okay. his name? 
Sock and Lee throw. Mon. Lee. Hitmon Lee. Hitmon, Hitmon Lee. Lee. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hitmon yes. Lee. Training, yeah. Yes. I Gonna learned. Be a That's montage. a fighting type. Yes. <laughs> I'll s- <laughs> yes. Yes. I like seeing Kyle get excited about Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes anything, I feel like Kyle, really, it's like a very like very personal, very like involved and difficult process sometimes. Yes. I get this vibe from you about like dealing with new Pokemon information. Mm-hmm. It's it's like it's, it would be a relationship status. It's complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. 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 I can't tell if you like Pokemon or don't like Pokemon anymore. I've sworn off Pokemon criticism. Okay. I've sworn it off. Okay. <laughs> Can I tell it's, you my feeling? Yeah. I just very suddenly I felt like like if they changed Barney's voice actor, I felt like I was like some guy who's like, they changed Barney's voice actor. He sucks now. <laughs> I've realized Pokemon is for children. I just had to accept it. I had to realize that game, they, they're not making it for me anymore. And that's just why I don't want to make fun of it anymore. That's like, it's making fun of Barney, you know? Yeah. That's very big of you. I came to this realization. Right. So wait, are you yeah. telling me that I should not play Pokemon Sword and Shield? It is for children. It is specifically designed for children. But you can still be a child at heart and enjoyed it. Child at heart. That's, yeah. what, they, that's what their marketing child, thing You're going to play it's it. Very, child at heart? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's for, it was also their Labo stuff. It's for like also, children and people are still children at heart. Yeah. 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 And also there's nothing wrong. Like I had a blast playing Let's Go. It was easy. Yeah. I had yeah. a blast just going through it. Mm-hmm. It was great. Yeah. But I understand like the it, the long term fan who's looking for it to evolve, you right, know, become right, something more than right. it's always been. And I got I just it's gotta stop that. Realistically never gonna become that. Yep. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. We also get to see Jim Leader. Kyle's heart dynamaxed three sizes. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I just saw it as giving up, man. <laughs> I was like, what if we just made it bigger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there man. We also got to see gym leader, a new gym leader, uh, Alistair. Mm-hmm. Alistair is a talented trainer of ghost type Pokemon who has taken on the mantle of the ghost type gym leader at a young age. He's extremely shy and fearful, and he always hides his face with a mask when around other people. He's seen some things, this guy. He rarely makes public appearances and apparently spends most of his time around ruins or in cemeteries. This is a cool trainer. Like you gotta like get to know this. You gotta get to know them. I wish that that's true. Some like, of us are gonna. Get I think to we're going on a side quest with them. Yeah. You have to like you know find out you know why they do this and stuff. You know what what kind of like thing happened in their past that led to this. Go to a haunted mansion, collect three bells, and come back to me, and then we'll talk. Yeah, he's gonna be like that. Yeah. Do you think he will reveal his true face to you? Do you think there'll be an emotional moment where he pulls off the mask and you see wow. his face? Yes. And it looks like every other generic NPC face? Yeah, yeah no, no, I no. do. And yes. it'll be, it'll be uh, three c- Q-bones in like oh, a gosh. coat stacked up. Ah, that's why, that's why he We were all of us yes. deceived, yes. He, he's three Q-bones in a trench coat. There you coat. go. The little rascals have duped yeah. us once again. <laughs> but you keep mentioning Dynamax, Ian. I uh, did at the beginning, well, wait, I, there's a, I, there's a, a new really one. important f- f- a fact about those two gym leaders, Damiani. Well, we'll get to that. Oh, okay. okay. There, right, there's right, some, right, we're right, not there okay, yet. Right, okay, okay, but like, there's something right, I talked right, about right, earlier. Right, okay, hey, hey, okay, okay, I brought something right. up earlier, and you were like, what is that? Right. And that's, I, I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> Gigantamax. Gigantamax. Yes. Wait, is that what it's called? Gigantamax. I thought I was guessing. Gigantamax mechanic was introduced in this trailer. I had to uh, read the website to understand this clearly. What is the difference between Dynamax and Gigantamax? Mm-hmm. Spelling. So that's that very astute there, Ian. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, <it's> so condescending. <laughs> you, mean, had it, you know what? You, you make, had it coming. You, coming. you will make her a great Pokemon snap him. player, though. <laughs> I'm not letting him get a word in edgewise. Only certain species of Pokemon can Gigantamax. And even among such species, only rare specimens, not units, specimens, <laughs> will be able to Gigantamax. So they it's become a, v- a unit. So it's a very, yes, then they become the unit. I wonder if that means like a certain level. You've achieved a certain level. Maybe. That's yeah. my best guess. I, I bet it means, means like only 15 of them can do it. They give you some examples of ones that can do it. It sounds like it's going to be maybe newer ones. I mean, they're giving mostly newer ones as examples, the ones exclusive to the gallery. The ones so that far. they made the models with this yeah. in mind. We, Damiani, had me agree we're not going to talk about rumors in this podcast. If oh, you, if you're I shouting, get it. If you're shouting at the screen right now, Kyle Bossman. We're only talking about what was announced. Kyle Bossman, what, did, what I, do you know? I'm, I'm going to infer from that mm-hmm. that 
obviously there will be more than just new Pokemon to do it. Old Pokemon will definitely do this. Like I absolutely expect that. You, like you don't like you don't even no, have to no, like. No, no, no. All Pokemon will not Gigantamax. No, no, no. I mean, like there will definitely be a non-exclusive Galar region one that will Gigantamax. Maybe. Yeah, like maybe. <laughs> I think you could say yes. I, I haven't you read. Can say yes. I haven't read yes. a single leak of the leaks yeah. that came out in the last few days, so, and I yeah. would assume like Pikachu will do it or something. You know, who someone will do it or get... Mew will do it. Mewtwo right, or something. You need your most popular Pokemon. Yeah, you got to have Max. that happen. Was there a leak or something? Big leak. Yeah. Oh. Big leak big, happened, big. but I didn't read it yet. Um, nice, John. Gigantamax. Pokemon become bigger just like Dynamaxing mm-hmm. um, and it boosts the power of the Pokemon just like Dynamaxing but the big difference here besides the spelling <laughs> is they will change their appearance so the three examples they showed in the trailer are Dreadnought who's normally that turtle on all fours will get up on its hind legs and be upright and like it's ju- like head comes out like its jaw a little bit more like it's like looks like it's more in a gr- like aggressive posture um, what was the other one uh Alchemy becomes a huge cake. It's yeah. like layered cake. <laughs> um, and like, it's, they said it's something about like, it's uh, they actually descriptions of the Gigantamax Pokemon that I didn't write down here because it was getting a little like insane. Mm-hmm. Something about like, it's uh, like the fruits on it or whatever, or, like r- as hard as diamonds and stuff, and you can like shoot them off. I was like, what the? Whoa. <laughs> Gigantamax, dude. Cool. Uh, and then the most boring looking one, Corviknight, glows with new reinforced body, body armor. So they were already supposed to be super powerful. Is that the crow one? Yeah, yeah the big raven crow looking one. Yeah, it just spreads its wings. Just yeah, it looks like it has like a, a subtle like oh. like a uh, kind of like a red or uh, yeah, kind of like that like hue of color yeah, glow yeah. to it. Um, only uh, so it also allows so by by uh, when you go into when you Gigantamax, mm-hmm. you are allowed to use a unique move known as a G Max move. Oh. Each G Max move. I G-Max moves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this, but uh, I, uh, like, uh, keep reading. Uh, <laughs> each G Max move is particular to a specific species of Gigantamax Pokemon, and regular Dyna- uh, sorry, regular Dyna- Dynamax Pokemon can't use G Max moves at all. Mm-hmm. So that's another difference to them. Um, you can catch Gigantamax Pokemon for your team by participating in max raid battles, but it seems they're very rare, is what mm-hmm. they put on their website. So yeah. this is going to be probably like the highest end of like the yeah. max raid battles and like the hardest to get. Mm-hmm. But they will be like the most OP probably. It's kind of a cool idea, right? That has yeah. a new form. New forms are always cool in anything, but yeah. Yeah. It's temporary. It lasts for How three do you like turns. the name though? Gigantamax? Yeah. Like Dude, Dynamax. If I have to be in for Dynamax, I have to be in for Gigantamax. Okay. At least Dynamax. Gigantamax doesn't sound like a brand of cassette tapes. Mm. Ah. Dynamax definitely does. Alternate reality. Uh, yeah. Could be the alternate reality tapes <laughs> that came out in the eighties. Yeah. Is it real or is it, or is it live or is it Dynamax? <laughs> <laughs> we got a B one, Beta, D, Dyna. What would the C one? I don't know. They talked about the gym challenge. This is kind of like your overarching, like kind of like drive. Are and we goal. getting to Ian's thing now? We're almost there. Okay, okay, okay. It's in the it's in the the uh, version differences pre order segment. Okay, that's the it. final segment. Okay. The gym challenge. Yeah. So we've been kind of like wondering about some of the stuff behind the gyms and stuff. They've kind of been doling out information about them. Yeah. What are their specifics? So they gave like the lore reason behind all of this. And they also finally gave the definitive answer on what's up with the uniforms. It was like finally you like said why they have uniforms and stuff. Participating trainers strive to collect all eight gym badges and only Pokemon traders who have been endorsed by specific people, such as gym leaders, can join in. That's like the whole thing about Leon being endorsed by Chairman Rose. That Mm -hmm. was the first endorsement. They're pulling the strings, Damiani. You are being endorsed, apparently, by Leon. That's oh. who's endorsing you. That's how you. Leon's like, we gotta, we gotta expose them. They just, they won't let just anybody walk. Yeah, the you gotta be vouched for. Like, yeah. you gotta be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, once a year in the Gala region, a series of Pokemon battles, are. Siri came up. Apparently, that triggered Siri. What? You said Siri. You said Siri. I heard you. said you. Siri of Pokemon battles. Yeah. Once a year in the Gala region, a series. Hey Google, Alexa. Um, Sorry, we just wanted to get them all. Oh, come on. Bixby. Back. Stop. <laughs> Is Bixby one? <laughs> Bixby's the Samsung one. Oh, Bixby. Don't trigger Siri. 
Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Once a year. Tobias! Get... Tobias! <laughs> <laughs> Apologize to the audience for triggering well, just, all those I'll smart this devices, please. Siri, read this. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get through this someday. Okay, Never. no. Sorry. Read right. this whole thing. We're recording this late. We're not recording this early in the day. We're looped out. We're, We're looped out. out. Yeah. Well, so sorry. Once a year in the Galar region, a series of Pokemon battles are held with the League Championship on the line known as the Championship Cup. Sorry, Champion Cup. It's the World Cup. It's yeah, like, it's yeah, it's cool. Uh, exemplary trainers throughout the region, such as those who successfully complete the Gym Challenge, are allowed to participate in the Champion Cup tournament. It's pretty self-explanatory. I follow. I actually love this. So about the uniforms, some of the corporations in the Galar region support the gyms and the champion by offering sponsorships. You'll find the logos of these corporations on the uniforms of the gym leaders as well as around the various facilities in Galar. Late stage capitalism Pokemon. There you go. So that's why you got all those things on them. Mm -hmm. Not forming teams. You're, You're basically... Sponsored. Yeah. You're a sponsored athlete. Yeah. You're going through there. Dude, I wonder if you can like get different endorsements on different playthroughs from corporations. What if there's an ach- no, there are no achievements. I was gonna say, what if there's achievement to get all the sponsors? If only there was a show for that. Yeah, if only there was a show for that. Now, Ian, the version exclusives and pre order incentives section. So I think it's I, I've seen positive response to this. I thought it would be controversial, more controversial. Oh, I was assuming people were mad Each about it. Each version will have different gyms and gym leaders in certain towns. And as you saw in the trailer, for example, B is only in Pokemon Sword, mm-hmm. while Alistair is in Pokemon Shield. So how do you feel about that? Exclusive trainers, exclusive gyms. More than just those two? They probably. said certain, so it probably implies wow. there's more than just them. I mean, so how do you feel about it? You, to experience all the gym leaders? You're gonna have to play through both versions. Having never really played any Pokemon except Let's Go, I've always thought that two different games of the same game is super weird, and that no one's mad about it is super weird. <laughs> so making them differentiate it even more to give people a reason to play through them both, yeah. I think is nice. I do. And I think that, you know, gym leaders okay. are inconsequential enough for it not to be like, oh, that one's way worse now. You know, it's it's not. Yeah. And so, like, I actually think it's kind of neat. It's a cute thing. So when they say gyms might change, yeah. like, the, I'm wondering about the puzzle segment. Because they showed it off at E3 that there is the more traditional mm-hmm. battle, the, the like, kind of, like, lowly minions before you reach the gym leader. Yeah. Our path to endorsement. It'll absolutely be different. Yeah. And, so yeah. will those puzzles be different? And will one have better puzzles than the other then? And will that affect anything you do you think they would be different to that extent or will they just be reskins of the same i mean it could technically just be reskins like oh this is now a water themed one versus this like or this is the fighting themed one versus this is a right. ghost themed. what one. i want to like b says like i will endorse you if you can mat like last five minutes in the ring with me so like you have to like fight b for five minutes while your pokemon watch yeah that'd be sick yeah. You finally get to see humans fight. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. That's you need the Galar karate. Right. And then uh, Alistair is like, yeah, he's the one who says, go to the mansion and bring me three bells. I would love if they're way different. I really yeah, don't want yeah, them to be the same. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. But I'm expecting it to be like the fighting one, you have to go through a maze and avoid fighters. And the ghost one, you have to go through the exact same maze and avoid ghosts. What I saw at E3 disappointed me, honestly. Oh, yeah. You saw I, it it might have been simplified that yeah. like section of the, the gym. But when I hear about Alistair and ghost type Pokemon, I want like a haunted mansion. Yeah. yeah. I want something more involved, and I'm pretty sure I'm not getting that. I'm just getting the same old walk up. Oh, the trainer's looking this way. You got to yeah, also yeah, flip yeah. some switches to, or step on some portal titles and figure out the way you're going to warp there to the, the gym leader. I, was I, like, think I think they're really cool. X and Y had a haunted house. Yeah. But it's been a while since X and Y, actually. It's been like six it's been years. What? It's been, it's been some time. Six, seven years, I think. Roughly that, I forget at this point. Uh, I was disappointed I didn't remember when a 
get the exact year of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze coming out on Wii U. I said 2013, it and then 2014, it's 2014 because like the Link Between yeah. Worlds, Super Mario 3D World, all that stuff came out in 2013 fall holiday season, and then that spring is when Donkey Kong. I was, yeah, it was a year. Like February. I was a year off. I was like, oof. January, that's what happens when you get further away from what you think was just yesterday or last year. Yeah. Sad stuff. 2019, man. 2019. 2019. Things have changed in Pokemon. We're like grizzled industry veterans. The now. Pokemon don't even like to fight anymore. They make the but humans they just do, do it. it. They go through the motions. What if there was a weird spinoff game where like Pokemon catch humans and make humans fight? Man, it would be a thing. <laughs> it w- I'd play. Yeah. It. Oh yes. yeah, and it's like horrifying. Yeah, <laughs> bloody as hell. Mm-hmm. M. Yeah. I can't even Gigantamax anymore. Yeah. And then they won't include all the humans. Like, all human types won't be in the National oh, Pokemon okay. decks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're not going there. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> each, as expected, <laughs> each version will have exclusive Pokemon. They, uh, so, I think it's, it's Dano and Jangmo O will only appear in Sword. What? Dino. D E I N O. So it's either Dino. Oh, Dino. That Dino. Was Dino. Oh, yes. really? That's how you pronounce that? So it's Ein, like the number one in German. Dino. Oh, okay. And then J, like Jing, M O hyphen O. Yeah, Jung Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. Is it Jung Mo O? He's a lowland. Or is yeah. it Jung Mo? Like, it's like Mo, Mo. Uh, however you would say it in Hawaiian. Oh. That, that, Hawaiian doesn't have dashes like that, does it? I don't think so. But, yeah, uh, like, that, I don't That's know. like Sumi E to me, where it's like. Another. The next ones are easier to say. Painting. Sure. Uh, Larvitar and Gumi only appear in Shield. Ooh, this is a boon for Shield. Oh yeah, which one do you? Those. Which of these two do you like? So Larvitar becomes Tyranitar. Yeah, which is great. <gasps> and then Gumi becomes Gudra, the best ever dragon. Oh, there you go. So wait. They're just padding out Shield because the Shield sucks. <laughs> You've because Sword on. is cooler. <laughs> Oh, oh man, they got the ghost kid, they got the cool mons. No, you're starting to feel it now. You have to play through both versions. You think they'll no. offer any kind of uh, easier path when you finish one to go into the, like go into the other one and get a bonus? Like it can the games talk to each other, read the save data and say, Oh, you have played this one. Oh, like one. those old game the Game Boy Zelda games. Yeah, do you think it can Luigi do anything will like come that? in and play it? Since, for since you. this is gonna be like the most distinct nah. differences. But I mean no. you can you can transport your Pokemon in. So it's it's almost a new game plus in a way. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. You have to wait till a certain point usually in those games. Like after you beat like your first gym or yeah, reach yeah. the first. Yeah, yeah. Before you can start trading and stuff. But yeah, yeah that's okay. the best it can get, Damiani. All right. And can I, you still trade with other people? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, that I would think be... I really do think you have to wait a while until you can trade with other people though. Think... I couldn't say because I never do. <laughs> yeah, I always forget. <laughs> yeah. That. But how do you? That's how you fill out your decks. Yeah. I don't like to fill out the decks. Oh. Like my goal right here, I'm gonna be a world champion. That's my only goal. Ah, uh, and then you want your name sure, on a sure, cup, sure. and yeah. then like hoisting the cup up and being so like, so just being yeah, the I'm story. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. The idea that it ends with a tournament, by the way, is really cool. It's something I always wish for. Yeah, and like I, it, it, I wonder if it ever it might have the, like the twist or the cool little reveal be like champions from other regions show up for like the real like the like the elite eight version mm-hmm. or sorry elite four sorry oh. geez. I mean maybe it is elite eight this one. Um, what if they do an Elite Four where it's like four people from different regions show up and they're the best of the best? What if you can put your save data from Let's Go in it and your character comes? That'd that's what cool. I want. I want that. Yeah, I absolutely cool. want that. That'd be cool. I want, a fi- I want that Pokemon Silver moment. I want that, you know, Fighting Red. The Let's Go characters look like adults to me. They're too old? They look like straight up adults. Nah. Really? Professor Oak is bigger than them. He's oh, taller. So I'm sorry. I thought we were talking about Pokemon Go. Right, Let's Go is not a Let's Go. Oh, Pokemon, yeah, Go. Pokemon Go. Go, they yeah. are adults. They're yeah. you. Yeah. Go, they're the, oh, they're yeah. the oldest. Pokemon I mean, Let's Detective Go. Pikachu yep, yep, yep. is basically like, that was their design. Yeah. Yeah. The, this is the, my the design. The characters in them. Um, more other basic pre-order stuff. Kyle, I think you were telling me this is pretty basic. This is nothing special. Players who purchase the downloadable version of either game and complete their download by January 15th, 2020, will receive 12 free quick balls. Yeah. Pretty regular. Wait, you beat you beat the game? At the no, same if you time? purchase the digital version and then actually do the download of oh, it oh. by complete January fifteenth, yeah, complete I thought the they download. Meant, like, beat the game. So it's like you can't just pre-order it and never download it. It's yeah. like you gotta actually download it. And like twelve quick balls. Is twelve like quick balls nothing. is nothing. Yes. 
Uh, if you buy a physical copy from the uh, Pokemon store, uh, Pokemon Center online shop, mm-hmm. you will get a plush keychain gift, which is a keychain of the three individual keychains of the three starter Pokemon. So oh, Scorbunny, that's pretty nice. Sobble, and Grookey. Um, Dang, get on that, New Yorkers. Heck yeah. Yeah. And uh, the double pack will also include that if you if you pre-order from the shop as well. Um, it'll include those uh, gift uh, keychain gifts, but it also will include two codes to redeem a special item called Dynamax crystals. Here we go. By Here using go. the Dynamax crystals received via the codes, you'll be able to face Dynamax Larvitar and Dynamax Jangmo. In special max raid battles, these Pokemon normally can't be encountered until later in the game. They won't in these two versions. These you can you can fight both these in the same game. That mm-hmm. means one of like Larvitar won't appear in Sword, and Jangmo won't appear in Shield during normal gameplay. But you'll be able to catch them in either version by using these Dynamax crystals. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to do the trade. You just get them. Another interesting tidbit about this, yeah. under all this information here, it said in the fine print, you'll need to reach the wild area in the game in order to use these Dynamax crystals. It says in parentheses, it will take roughly, uh, and that occur- reaching the wild area will occur after about two hours of gameplay. So in this PR, in this promotional stuff for, for merchandise, yes. uh, for pre-orders, they revealed a lot of the game. Yeah. Uh, we did not hear about Dynamax crystals before this point. Yeah. And to say that the open area comes in two hours of the game is so yeah. funny. They say like well, individual get... gameplay time may vary, but yeah. yeah. That's like how long it takes to get out of the first little town or whatever to the... To the big Because the wild area connects area. all the towns, right? Yeah. Most of them, yes. Yep. I think I it's like... after you complete your first gym. I bet yeah. that's when it happens. Yeah, yeah. I like how Two you say Dynamax gym. crystals. Maybe in this one it might be slower burn. Okay. Uh, Dynamax crystals. So now I kind of get the idea that like you use it to summon one. Like you raise it to the sky. But do you think you'll find Dynamax crystals in game? Yeah. I do. I feel I like ra- you will. Those... I absolutely feel but like the, you will. But what are those light beams that are the raids or I whatever? I think those might be Dynamax crystal- crystals planted. Oh, okay. Uh, like yeah, you you, you plant it in the spot and it creates the portal. Um, oh, from other people in other games. Uh, do you think so? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like okay. you might like that. Might be it. Might not Dark be. Souls, it might dude. be the like the catalyst yeah. you need. Even if it's like certain weather conditions. Oh, the conditions are met. Blah blah blah. You need that Dynamax crystal, and like, that's how they might cap how you are able, like how many attempts you're able to do and stuff. If this is like a, if they go a meta commentary with the, the villain, uh, <laughs> who's just like talking about how people fell for his Dynamax crystals. <laughs> And how they like they have no value. <laughs> I would love that. I would truly love if there's some sort uh, of would have gotten away with it too. Yeah, <laughs> cryptocurrency or something. Yeah, it's the Pokemon Gallery region cryptocurrency. Definitely. We we'll have a patron question from Ghost Pichu. Okay. Hello, allies. I saw the trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield, mm-hmm. and was excited to see exclusive gym leaders for each game. I like both of them. I like them both a lot, and I'm unsure about which version to get now. I was wondering. What other content should the two games do to differentiate themselves more? I do at least hope that Alistair is at least in Pokemon Sword, even if he isn't a gym leader. Like, they just appear oh, in cool it. Idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really cool idea. So you guys are, seem to be more on board with them having more exclusive content after, like, it's yeah. kind of like, an, it's inevitable. They're outfits. always going to make two versions. Exclusive so. outfits. Let's go. Um, oh. You can only buy this jacket in Pokemon Shield. Okay. You can only buy these shorts in Pokemon Sword. I want to see kids in the towns, like when they're in the gym, uh, in the audience, little foam swords in sword version mm, and little foam shields. The cheering. Mm-hmm. Oh. When they're cheering, like they can buy them, they sell them in the towns, but not in the other version. That'd be cool. That's something, and that's not something hard to, they could easily do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like exclusive uniform slash clothing. Yeah. Could definitely be it. Yeah, I'm not. I haven't really thought about this this much because I've. I always thought it was just like people may have gotten upset up front at the beginning of Pokemon games being released back with uh, Gen One and Gen Two, mm-hmm. and it just like they're just not. They're always going to do this, so it's a losing battle. Like complaining about this is like old man yelling at the clouds in the sky. It's or like some guy yelling at Barney. Or some guy yelling yeah. at Barney. It's yes. like what? What are you doing? Like come on! Like yeah. this that serves no purpose. You're wasting your time here. Um, I think it, honestly, I would be cool with alternate endings. Ooh. I would be fine with it. 
if you get a bad ending in shield and a good ending in sword, I'm super fine with I think that's exciting. <laughs> I like you said bad ending and good ending. Yes. I was just like, oh, this plays out differently, but they're both good. The no. fact that your mind even went like, to a sword bad ending. is the sad one. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be insane. I would really, really like to just go nuts, go wild with it. Because that, I mean that drives conversations. You talk to your friend who has shield and you're like, How did your thing end? You know, it's just like, right. did you cry? It's like, wait, what? Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> when yeah, your I main cried character with tears died, of joy. Like, yeah. what? It might be fun. Yeah, I, I would Dude, love that a lot, Dude, that'd be awesome. Actually. That'd be really cool. Wait, did you did you eat the alchemy cream in yours? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Who could resist? <laughs> My alchemy didn't make it to the end. Mine. Yeah, like romance on you, you lose the will to battle if you eat that cream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. The you end. just lay down. That's like you're, in, you're back <laughs> home and you're just like, ah, no. You have to go to like rehab. <laughs> I think we've had enough Pokemon for one day. Sure. That's going to wrap it up for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Great. Uh, still coming out uh, this November. People are going to have to pay that extra penny and get the... The, the double pack. The double pack, yeah. I'm surprised <laughs> the don't, don't discount that by like some it's, amount of money. It costs one more penny. It's like, okay, sure. You're paying for the packaging, <laughs> I guess. You know, sure. Are Pokemon. you going to get that one? No. I only overplay one. Oh, oh, yeah, I've never you're gotten getting two shield ever huh? before. Getting shield, probably, yeah. Nice. I'm going to go sword, I guess. Sif. Yeah. Got to get that Sif. Let's move on from Pokemon. Okay. To. What else is there? Breath of the Wild. <gasps> Why didn't you lead with that? <laughs> you want to get Pokemon out of the way. Like uh, sometimes it's hard for me to get excited about Pokemon, but like the, the lore details behind the Pokemon, I actually kind of dig it. Yes, it's kind of fun to read that stuff. And I want to see your reactions, and your reactions did not disappoint. Mm. Like perfect, perfect panel to have for mm. those reactions. But Breath of the Wild, uh, the sequel to Breath of the Wild, new job postings listed on Nintendo's Japanese website. Uh, they are hiring two positions, which means they're which not far along. No, just two positions, just two job oh, postings oh, okay. uh, for a level designer and a Ugh. 3D CG designer. The level designer, uh, their task, will, their core task will involve, one of their core tasks will involve planning dungeons. And the 3D that CG. says that in the job yes, description? says wow. planning dungeons. Okay. And so it's not even heavily implied. Yeah, 3D okay. CG, the 3D CG designer says one of the t- core tasks will be to work on field dungeons. And uh, the terrain for dungeon, like sure. field dungeons, like getting Korok seeds, but like the, like that stuff. But also, what is a field it, dungeon? It, like a, an outdoor type dungeon oh. environment. Okay. That's what I take from that. All usually, right. in J- J- Japanese field is the world map. Oh, sure, sure, oh. sure. Yeah, okay. That's what okay. it like usually refers to. I wonder if that's what they refer to shrines as. Yeah, um, I, like it. This, I mean, it obviously means dungeons are involved in some capacity. It does not say traditional old school 3D yeah, dungeons yeah, yeah, are yeah, coming yeah. back. Like, it's not that confirmation yet, but it's looking like they're letting this be public knowledge. Like, huh? You know, they're maybe they're going in this direction. So, you know what? At, since it's not definitive, I want to ask you: Do you believe these job postings and everything we've heard so far? Do you believe this is a strong enough indication that Breath of the Wild sequel will have more traditional style dungeons? And do you, either of in. you even want them? Yes, I don't think I've in. actually asked if you either of you want them. I yeah, I think I think that, I mean, we talked about this during E three, but like, yeah, we talked about E three. That's viewing was, viewing Breath of the Wild sequel as kind of a continuation of Breath of the Wild one. All the missing quote unquote missing dungeons, they were there the whole time. They were just underground, and now we've discovered them, and so they're all there, you know. And then on the field. Overworld stuff, like I think there's like Twilight or something happening, maybe like this. Ah, uh, okay, like like some kind of like duality thing going yeah, on up there. Maybe. Okay, like that, I think it'll be. So cool. when I think of real quick, when I think of field dungeons, I think mm-hmm. of Skyward Sword because they said their o- that Overworld was supposed to be more like dungeons, like you yeah. felt. And to their credit, the Overworld felt like section off puzzles. Like yeah, they got cool the pirate section was. Yeah, like they like the time stone stuff as yeah. well. Like it was the Overworld segments were just dungeons yeah. or dungeon like. So I wonder if they're gonna like because we saw like the hint that the landscape might change, Hyrule Castle li- rising up, yeah. maybe the overworld also becomes a giant dungeon as well. You can't just to progress, you gotta solve puzzles in every single part of the world now. That'd be I'd, cool. And also the underground. Well, and I mean, like, it, yeah, I mean, it would be a cool evolution of Breath of the Wild because Breath of the Wild's overworld, I think, was one of the most successful open world overworld maps I've ever encountered because 
it had it rewarded exploration in a way that many games don't really achieve. Like, if you see a thing and you're like, oh, that's weird, what's that? And you go over there, it, like, pays off in a new and different way so many times. And, yeah, I just think that already it was so amazing. And if they added, like, more puzzle elements and stuff to that for progression, that would be cool. Yeah. What's really funny is uh, my first uh, Divine Beast was the elephant. Okay. Which I think has the best quest. It has, you know, the the whole, like, Yuga clan uh, thing uh, that you go and do that for Yuga clan. Yeah. Uh, then you go do that to be able to even, like, ride on the shield to, like, get onto the elephant. And then the elephant itself is a dungeon. And I was like, oh, man, this is really cool. Why are people complaining about Wait, is this? Wait, the, the elephant one was the water, water one. one with yeah. the, you ride on Prince Sedan. Yeah. And so, so the then, Yiga like, clan part of that? the Yuga clan was for, it leads into it. Oh. I might be misremembering. Oh, you're right. The, the shield is the camel one. So wait, which one is? You're it's thinking a camel. about the you're thinking camel. about the Gerudo. Okay. So, yeah. 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 so you said riding on the shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I yeah, yeah, think yeah, yeah, yeah. you okay, mean the other the one, but so like yeah. maybe he thought Prince Sedan was a shield. <laughs> so yeah, doing yeah. this cool camel, like yeah, that's I thought, a guy, and it's like <laughs> high above the ground and everything. Like, yeah, it feels really cool. And then it's just a bummer that it was the same thing for the rest of them, and they were mostly worse from there. Um, and so like. They have it. They had something there. They sh they shouldn't have repeated the same dumb thing four times. Uh, but they were slightly different. Yeah, they were. But like not even like aesthetically, they were yeah, all yeah, the same. That was its weakest. Comp yeah. yeah, that was one. I of appreciate. The I appreciate what they were going too. for. That yeah. it was this ancient technology. But yeah. Um. So I I I think that. There's two things here. I think that Damiani, if it's that cool like puzzle overworld, you run the risk of losing what Ian was talking about, which is like one of the best open worlds we've ever seen. Uh, but we do know that they know how to do it. They know yeah. how to put dungeons in this world and make it work. Uh, so I have faith that it won't be too weird. What I, if it's... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, we, we already had segments in the overworld in Breath of the Wild that were dungeon-like. The whole dark yeah. area, the maze... Island yeah, 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 stuff yeah. like we already kind of had sections that were the Lost Woods, not the lo Lost Woods could be sort of, but the one where it's pitch black and you need like torches oh. to navigate. That oh, that's yeah. like for to get like the the berserker armor or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, like the yeah, maze yeah, yeah. one you gotta like solve off like the coast. Sure, like there, there's stuff like that that was when you thought pseudo it out. like you know it. dungeon like but not fully Man, like that. Amazing. It could become you know that maybe they just want to go more heavy on that type of stuff where it's not literally you don't have to solve a puzzle to advance to the next part of the map. It's mm -hmm. just this part of the map there's something here to get but it's very involved. Mm -hmm. Like it is almost a dungeon. You got to like conquer conquer to get this item or figure out what its mystery what mysteries it holds and stuff like that. Yeah. Like just more re like parts of the map like that would be kind of cool. But I also agree, like, like Ian, one of the best things about Breath of the Wild was not only, like, be the reward you felt for I saw something over there, I can go do it, it led to something meaningful. Just the fact that almost every single time you ask that question, for me, I asked the question, can I go over there? Can I even get there? It was almost always, yes, you can. Yeah. And that positive reinforcement, like, you can do this. Yeah. You can go there. Like, you can climb up this. Just keep trying. There's a way. Oh, I got clever. Yes, you did. It's like, that's good. Like, that kind of feedback loop was so good. And as long as they keep that there, I think they could add on, like, they can get a little bit more aggressive with activities to do within each area. So it's not just raw, pure exploration 100% of the time. It's that, oh, there's something obvious over here, but it's a little bit more involved to figure out what to do here. Like, it, it, you know, think of, like, Cass's, like, poems and stuff, like you got to really know the geography and, yeah, like, understand, yeah. like, what's there to f decipher, oh, i got to go by this rock with, like, the sunlight here. Like, I love that stuff. More of that. So what good. if, in this one, you do all the underground stuff, you do the uh, eight dungeons, Ganondorf has gained control over all the ancient technology, all the divine beasts, Voltron together <laughs> into, like, a ziggurat tower dungeon. They make Ganon's tower. It's all, like, one huge big thing, and you have to get to him at the top of it, and that's <laughs> the last, like, a ninth dungeon. If we get the hook shot, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to be able to glide, let go, hook shot on the stuff as I'm falling. Yo. Like, I want that. Like, this tall structure. Yeah. And not, I just want to, like, hit it and climb. It's like, I'm going to let go. You get to aim, 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 fire. <laughs> Grab, it's like, oh, that's gonna feel so good. Mm -hmm. And upgrade uh, to uh, climbing claws so that you can climb when it's raining. Ooh. That's a really yeah, cool like idea. Like the bear claws, you get like, like Adamantus <laughs> cap, the one that like yeah. digs, but now you can use them to like, oh, yes. But you had, like, like later in the game. Because you had like feet stuff, uh, uh, footwear that helped you walk in sand, walk in snow. So it's yeah. like, 
I mean, there's stuff to speed up your climbing, but Foot not claws, baby. wasn't that extent. Oh, yes, Ian, this is good stuff. But in terms of dungeons, mm-hmm. um, I got a patron question here from Gonzalo. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, hello, allies. In regards to Zelda dungeons, what do you consider are bases of a good dungeon? I mean, Breath of the Wild technically has them. Should they be a certain length, have a certain challenge, or is it just them feeling more distinct? Finally, how many of them should there be? Thanks, love, and respect. The basis of a good dungeon? Yeah, the basis of a good Zelda dungeon. Is a theme. Or, when you think of your the best yeah. dungeons, you, you're thinking of a theme. You're not yeah. thinking of particular puzzles or like good enemy layout or you know just like the proper amount of treasure chests. It it's has a blank good theme. temple. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is the most important part. And again, why we're so disappointed in the Divine Beasts. I agree with that. Because they're all on yes. the same theme. Yeah. But. Very good point. It's just because we're too limited in our thinking, man. Okay. We were looking at Breath of the Wild as one standalone game. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. It's Act One. Of yes. a trilogy. Of a trilogy. They couldn't have put the dungeons in that so one. They couldn't have put the. It, it wouldn't have, would have matched the scope. Yeah. All the ancient, ancient technology is the dungeons. Mm-hmm. Actual, all the temples from before buried under the rubble of 10,000 years of history. Man, if we return to like old dungeons and like, That's what you know what oh, I'm, I'm stoked for is yeah. they either do ma- they master quest them mm-hmm. where they get like you said get in like maybe possess them, reorganize yeah. them. Yeah. Or you got to solve like a slightly new easy puzzle in them again and it leads to like a deeper underground chamber which is like way more like a complex. Yeah. Like there's so many cool things they can do. Oh, with man. so many cool stuff. But but yeah, theming for sure. The one thing I want to also add on this before we end uh, real quick, uh, not end, sorry. One thing I want to add to this discussion real quick is that these positions, uh, applications for these, the deadline is September 30th this year. So there's still time. So there's still time to get hired by Go them. Kyle. But it's just two positions and it sounds like just need oh, we need an extra person to help. Yeah, they need a little I, more help. This, this to fine. me says yeah. they're going more ambitious, mm-hmm. but also because they're hiring really soon. And it's a short timetable. I think they're in a good spot. I think they're pretty far along. It's just they're gonna hit twenty twenty, baby. Is it a lead designer or is it just like it's a just designer? a not okay, lead okay, a? Okay. It sounds then, like yeah, hey, they need to shore up. They probably like did the project plan and said we're gonna do this many dungeons. Oh, we could use one more person or like mini dungeons or something. Yeah. Do you think this is fall twenty twenty? I would not holiday. be surprised if it was holiday twenty twenty. Cool. At the earliest, I think. yeah. Here's a question, though. Sure. Because Breath of the Wild, you had all your tools from the outset. Mm-hmm. Breath of the Wild 2, uh, how, what are they going to do? I mean, I guess if it's if it's like hook shot, that kind of stuff, then you can earn it as you go, and you start with all the Breath of the Wild tools already because it would not make sense to lose them. Either what you said happens, Ian, where Ganon re- like corrupts stuff, so that means your Sheikah... Slate is also oh, correct. I bet, I bet tech, you can't have your Sheikah yeah, power. So it would be Metroid, gone. every Metroid Wait, game ever. Wait, did you ever, return yeah. the Sheikah Slate at the end of the Breath of the Wild? You do. Yeah, so. Mm. It's corrupted. Or you do keep your base skills, but it's like, hey, we found new ones underneath, and they got new powers, and like you're going to need to use these on top of the old ones, so they add additional new ones. Like yeah. five new powers, new mm. runes, abilities, oh something like God, that. So I want to make a spike. Like a chain flail spike or just like a... Sp- just a spike in the air. I spike it, uh, freeze it, hit it with a hammer, and my spike just shoots. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Just a big old cone. Okay. I mean, if it, for Out some reason I can make like a, I can make a rectangle of ice, a very specific <laughs> rectangle. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, why can't I make a cool spike cone? <laughs> Like you hold it yeah. there and you're like using like if you use motion controls you can kind of like shave it and like <laughs> <laughs> sculpt you it. You have to like, sculpt it yourself <laughs> every time. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you use a new Sheikah laser move like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ice sculpture laser. Okay. And Zelda's like Link. Why do you need that? Well, we'll why did I need a rectangle of ice? <laughs> the raise. Link talks now. He's like, he's like, he's like, why? You gotta make blocks. You gotta raise gates. Yeah. Stuff I know. We know. Um, yeah, hopefully you hear about more Breath of the Wild at some point in the near future, but, you know, we'll have to Man, wait and see. Man, that next trailer. I, oh, oh, yeah. Looking Weeping. We're just going to cry. Let's all cry together. Yeah. Our final bit of uh, news for this episode is a Splatoon event is coming to Tetris 99 yeah, this what? month. Do you what have points so on here, this? So, what? How many points do I need? Okay, so here we go. Okay. So if, for Ian, if you're not familiar, each month they hold something called a Maximus Cup event. Uh, which is an online tournament held, held over like a few days, and you got to earn points, and like you get ranked based on those points. And there's been stuff you've unlocked or earned by achieving a certain point threshold. 
in this event, this is the fifth one they're doing, if you achieve 100 event points, you will unlock a Splatoon theme for Tetris 99. That's one win. <laughs> you win one, you get it. So win one, yep. and it's running from midnight, starts midnight July 12th, and runs until 11.59 p.m. July 15th. So you got three days. I was thinking about this. Oh, that's not a lot of time. So wait, do you get a point for how close, for everyone you beat or something? Um, I don't really know how the points work out. Uh, the the longer you get into the game, the more points you get. So okay. if you're like top 10, you get a lot of points, but I think like top half, or sorry, the bottom half get like nothing. Mm. Um, sorry, what were you gonna say? Uh, so I was thinking about this, like, for someone like myself who like will get a win quickly, uh, and then you just, you you unlocked it, you know what I mean? It, like I I get it within an hour, I get it with a half hour. Um, that's 10 okay. Minutes, Fifteen minutes. Those people are already in. Those people are already love this game. To the people who are like, oh, that sounds neat. I love Splatoon two. It's gonna be hard for me to win. It it's actually Splat- like it's Splatoon theme, not yeah. two. It's just Splatoon. Oh, Splatoon general. theme. Yeah. Cool. Um, then I have something to work forward, work toward. You know what I mean? So like, oh, I got in top fifty. I got some points toward a hundred. This is really cool. Like, yeah. I'm at, like, it's more important for those people to have a good time with this than it okay. is for like me. Just like, oh, I got it already. Like, who cares? <laughs> uh, we were trying to make people who are just having fun with this have a good time, and I think I, I think it's the right way to handle that. Yeah, uh, it seems like a cool thing to do. Mm-hmm. And again, this is you know, it is a free event within yeah. the game. I love this. So just I, a, the the other one I did was the the Game Boy theme. Oh, they had like a Game Boy that one, I, style yeah, that one got a lot of headlines. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, pretty cool. It was fun to participate in. You, like you unlock that forever. Yeah, I like this type of stuff. And then, and then it goes away. You can't it's, get it anymore? I do think it goes away. Yeah, That's it's a cool. limited time thing. Yeah. They might cycle back to it at some point, yeah. but this is like, you got to get in now and get this. And a uh, uh, patron question from Tyler actually kind of asks about, is this actually enough, though, Kyle? Okay. So hear them out. Hey, allies, with Tetris 99's crossovers, do you ever think they will ever do anything more than just aesthetic changes? such as a new limited time mode maybe. With Splatoon, for example, I was thinking they could team people up and have a map in the background that gets covered in each team's color as they clear lines. It's still Tetris's gameplay, just with the Splatoon twist. That is such a good That's idea. That's a very good idea. Do you think, I mean, this feels like te- uh, Tetris DS level stuff right here. Like the big brain stuff is awesome. It's still Tetris's gameplay. Oh, sorry. Do you think they will ever go this far with a crossover? And what would be some other cool crossovers that could have cool new modes? Thanks for all your guys' hard work. Love and respect, Beaks. So Man, that's a good idea. I think this is worth prefacing is that uh, it's a free game. Yeah. yeah. But they have that dumb season pass, which is what fifteen dollars or ten dollars? I don't remember. I bought it for but a, it's a friend code you, that we you never buy recorded. It once, right? You buy it once. It's got two chunks. I bought chunks, it. I think the season pass. I thought it was nine ninety nine. Okay, I think okay. it was. It sucks. It's like two modes, and then like two more modes to come. Did you I need th- to buy it to get the solo mode? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, whoever knows what those two, uh, next two modes are, but like it's clear to me that they're stingy with modes. They're not going to put a lot of money and wor- money and work into these things. That Splatoon idea is really, really good. Uh, it won't happen. And I think like that's ju- you cracked our minds open to so many opportunities of like really cool crossovers with Tetris 99 in particular. You have yeah. 99 people playing a game at the same time. What can we do with this? Tetris Auto Chess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, what what are the ones they did? Like, I'm just thinking, sorry, back to Tetris DS. Like, yeah. advance to a Mario level by like completing the lines. Like, you oh, those got, were like, so cool. Those were really good. Yeah. Um, or the Galaga, or what was it? The the top-down shooter one, there was one like that level, like or sh- like a side-scrolling shooter as well. Wasn't there? Or am I misremembering this? I don't know, because it was all Nintendo games. Yeah, but I thought maybe it was Alleyway or or they did the game. Something like that. But I like, haven't played it since but like sophomore here, year of college. They literally man. could do like all their things. Like F-Zero, like the more lines you get faster, the faster your car goes in the race. So like it's not just about like yeah. uh, not about being someone, it's like being them fast. Mm-hmm. So like crossing the finish line. So I might actually beat you, Kyle, in the Tetris match, but if I hit a, if I hit enough lines faster than you, mm-hmm. I win the race and stuff. So I actually win the match. So they can think of creative ways to be like different play styles are rewarded. For, like it's not just raw winning Tetris, like the ultimate end game, but it's like in a certain 
window of time, you play a different so, way. Instead of counting lines, here's how I would do or, or so, Yeah, like you're so, better at this. Uh, yeah. When you get KOs, mm -hmm. uh, you do more damage to other people. You drop more trash. So in this one, maybe you're just faster, right? Uh, like yeah. you, so, you get your your cart is going faster, and then if you go faster, I think that. It actually means that everyone else, their games are going faster. There you the go. The blocks are okay. dropping faster. Ah. So if you get this really cool lead, everyone else has to deal with blocks falling really fast oh, while yours drop really slow because you're going so fast. Relativity. I think that's how I would do that one. Yeah. I was trying to think of some kind of like more cooperative mode that they could do where it's like maybe not 99 because that would be bonkers and the net code would be nuts. But like maybe you and four other people, five, six other people are – doing kind of like a Tetris effect kind of a thing where it's more musical, like rhythm based. Mm. And each of you has a different instrument. And if you get your blocks in on time, you like keep the beat going or something like that. Okay. That could be cool. And it's like collaborative. Yeah. I like the, I like the idea of 99 people working together. Yeah. I think that'd be so oh. fun. Oh, like a pit cross kind of a thing. Like if you get your, if you solve your puzzle, like B type, if you solve the puzzle, you put a piece of the picture together. That's really fun. And so like, if you finish yours, you can help out people who are struggling too. Yeah. Kyle, I think that'd be really cool. Huh. Do they have this mode in the game? I apologize if they do. Mm. Do they have a mode where all 99 people can play one big game and you like swap piece controls so like <laughs> kyle you control the first piece when you're done it goes to ian player that two then so it goes weird. to me no they did not have this mode yet <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure they're working on it right now <laughs> that seems you like i mean it seems like a disaster yeah. but it, like we the amount imagine like the teams actually work actually want to solve it oh, and yeah. then when they actually work together to do it it's like who was the first ever to complete this the group of 99 people and stuff maybe they get like a cool theme or that's a that's a tetris raid yeah, yeah. tetris raid there you go <laughs> And because like it would be impossible because of trolls, it really would take <laughs> well, a long time. Well, that's it. Like you'd yeah. have to like, yeah. Well, I mean, that's a thing. You could do raids where like, it's just ninety nine people, and instead of damaging each other, you're damaging a monster, like yeah. a boss. You could also just like, yeah, yeah it's really cool, keep actually. it simple. Like who got the best score in that mode, and mm -hmm. then like make it. Oh, we're gonna incentivize you. Here's like a like a yeah, it's like an actual raid with a boss theme. Maybe the boss is playing Tetris, and they're super super good. Yeah, and have like throwing crazy, trash at us. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if they? G oh my gosh! What do you got? Never mind. No, uh, actually, that's the, it's the actual literal concept of the game. I just psych myself out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what if like, it's a Tetris my, for battle royale? For a split second yeah. in my head, I was like, what if it's like the best Tetris players from around the world, and all 99 people go like, well, that's yeah. the duh, duh, that's the game already. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. I, sometimes they don't come out great. So. Yeah, I, I I think Kyle, your answer for the, for the patron question is spot on. Like, they're probably not gonna go that in depth with like a Splatoon mode where mm. you get to paint the map. Like, the, I, I don't. Yeah, see you that just happening. have to keep in mind, like Tetris ninety nine. I think was conceived of as yeah. like just a fun, free bonus kind of thing. But a future Tetris game, yeah, could potentially do something like that. Go nuts! If Nintendo wanted to get involved. Yeah, I gotta play Tetris DS again, man. That was like a legendary game. Yeah, they need to. Make tet like a sequel to that. Nintendo need to make that happen. That's gonna do it for this episode. Woo! Woo! We got through spicy all that one. stuff. Good stuff. Very spicy. Um, for next time, I'm gonna give you some heads up um, because we're entering the the months where that does usually get a little bit slower with news. Uh, before next episode, San Diego Comic Con will happen, mm -hmm. so there might be some news from it. I remember some people were making a little bit of a not a stink, but kind of like pointing out Nintendo hasn't announced their July NES games yet. Well, they just did today. A little later than usual, they just announced today. Also announced that Rewind feature is coming to the uh, Switch NES online. Mm -hmm. So the NES Classic feature is now in there as well. I want to say it's not like the Capcom. Uh, it's not like that uh, Disney Afternoon collection. It's not like a cool like... <laughs> It's like it's, you, it, sh it brings up like the last like five seconds, like, yeah. and then you like you pick one of the seconds. Uh, like you, there's a thumbnail for each of the last five seconds. You click on the thumbnail, and then you warp back into that part. Uh, so it's like pr always recording. Yeah, and it's only a five second. Yeah. Wow. It seems like yeah. I mean, five seconds. For is a long classic, time. it was like what thirty seconds, up to thirty uh, seconds or a minute, you, and you can go by ten second intervals, right? You can rewind it. Was, was that S S N S classic? I think it, I think you totally can, and I just never use that feature, dude. I always just just say. Remember on S N S classic? Huh. Maybe I'm getting so confused. But anyway, a rewind feature is coming. Yes, cool. um, we'll be there. But <laughs> Comic Con, uh, Nintendo will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, who knows? 
S- uh, NES Classic or SNES Classic was announced the week of Comic Con, mm. um, one year, whenever, whichever one it happened. That announcement happened that week. What? There is an impending announcement from Nintendo. Oh, is there? The Switch Mini, bro. Oh, it's oh, coming. It's the happening. Switch Pro. Yeah. No, Switch Mini. Uh, Switch Pro will probably happen, but Switch Mini. Very likely, like has that, the to- the clock's ticking. There's yeah. that yeah. silicone yep. leak. I, I did not bring up Switch Mini rumors. There were so many. That, like this episode was screaming for an update on it, and I didn't go there because I've seen the backlash about covering it too much. Yeah, I mean, really, what can yeah. you say? What can <laughs> you say? Like, oh, It'll yeah. happen, and then yeah. we'll talk about yeah. it. Yeah. So when it happens, we'll talk about if it. If a again. Switch Pro happens, though, like I never bought a PS4 Pro. Mm-hmm. I think I would buy a Switch Pro in a heartbeat. I would. Yeah, buy like I, I would Switch go Pro's out day year. one yeah. and buy. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's. I think it comes out it. when the next gen stuff's happening. Yeah. So it's for Zelda. Potentially, oh, that'd be a good place. Good time. Um, so yeah, we have Comic Con we can to talk about. I don't now, now that I've tried it. I don't think we're going to talk about Doctor Mario World came out today as well. I did not like it. Um, <laughs> that's probably all you need to know is yeah, a lot of microtransactions. Uh, it's not very. It's not very good. <laughs> it's not very Nintendo. It's not very it's like Nintendo. Weird. It's, it's not weird. very engaging. Yeah. Um, I was just kind of like, how would this ever get like interesting or challenging? Yeah, I was hoping it would be something more meaningful and something and that would you, catch on that would be actually good and yeah. just doesn't seem Every to be time that. you hit start and the little heart came down, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. not playing this. Yeah. I saw that in the video and I was like, yeah. before I even played it, I was like, is that really it? And I played it, I was like, like play oh, energy? Like, come on. No. And Mario Kart, man, like when that's happening, just more smog, dude. That one Mo- is. Mobile mm. smog. That one looks slightly better than Tetris, but same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's it, right? They haven't announced anything after that. That's it. Uh, the only thing is the well, we now uh, Pokemon uh, Heroes, whatever the, the the gotcha one DNA is working on. I'm gonna on, play Pokemon that's Heroes. That's coming out at the end of this year. This one I actually yeah. like want to play. That I don't one. Know about that one. So when we plays all the past trainers uh, oh. in three v three battles, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, funny. yeah. It was like announced at the Pokemon press even. conference. Oh. Yeah. Um, Ian and Don yeah. already gave their impressions on Super Mario Maker two uh, on sure the did. most recent episode of Frame Trap. Nice. Uh, with uh, host Ben Moore, so if you're looking for a really excellent discussion uh, with their impressions, you can go check that out. Like I, I think it's a good place to do it. Don't and think it needs to be done again. You and can I, watch it, us weather an earthquake in that episode. Yeah, <laughs> it happened was, while we were filming. Yeah, it's like wild that that happened during that. Um, I think that's the extent of our Super Mario Maker two coverage. Well, I mean, for we're gonna, now we're going to still be playing it for now. Who knows? I might now. be done making levels. I might be done. <gasps> what? I made two. That's more, two more than I did. Yep. There you go. Wait, I don't even have the game. One? Sorry? You made a second one? Yeah, I made one of the speed run levels because I was tra- oh. I was playing the, the best, and I'm like, man, these levels are fun. They're all speed So I tried level. to make a speed run level. Uh, you want to get those good? thumbs yeah. up? It's actually way easier to make a speed run level. Oh, yeah. Because you don't have to factor in so many things. Oh. You don't have to factor, like, oh, what if they're not running at the right pace? What if they're over here? What if they're jumping from here? What if they're jumping here? There's, like, only one way to solve it's it. Like, yeah. one yeah. way to do it. Yeah. You better do it. Everyone or you gets lose. the world record if they, will, they beat it. Yeah. And they're all just holding right. Gotcha. And running. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Interesting. Uh, last thing I'll say is that uh, sometime between now and September, I want to do a dedicated Link's Awakening episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. With yeah. the Link's Awakening remake coming out, so that before or after it comes out, I don't know actually. Um, maybe it's more than one. I, I, I like basically. I mean, I definitely want to have like we can do a spoiler mode on that easily. Oh, yeah. Like that totally can be doable. Mm-hmm. Um, but also I kind of want to do some kind of discussion that dives into. I want to get perspective on someone who's a never played it before which would be like ian Mm -hmm. or potentially brin but we gotta get this band back together i know the ending though still that's fine like but actually playing it like how like you know actually the experience of playing through it yeah but also like you know just natural comparisons between the original version this version you know it seems like one-to-one yeah it's you can compare it to a lot of games yeah i still need to like actually sit down and like really focus on what I want to do with this, but I feel like there is enough with Link's Awakening mm-hmm. to have fill up a whole episode. And we could talk about that dungeon maker in there, too. That's something that absolutely we could do. I mean, that absolutely has to be a stream, group stream totally at some point. Oh, my That's God. Not, no, yeah. it's not a dungeon maker. Well, kind it's of. Like, it's take like take these like a, tiles and arrange them like in whatever stupid dungeon. order. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of like... But, yeah. I mean, like, 
could it be a test for did that did the person actually say that like if people liked that they would make a Zelda maker? There was a question asked at E three uh, to Anima about w- w- will you make it like a Zelda maker? And I think it was like yeah we'll see the interest based you know okay. let's start with this and stuff. So maybe we will get a Zelda. I'll, I'll tell you my interest is low. Just as we said earlier, well, like the best part of it. You a, mean in the Link's Awakening mode? Yeah, a, a dungeon oh. is theme, right? Like yeah. your, your dungeon needs a good theme. If your dungeon has no theme and it's just a bunch of challenge rooms, like I'm not in, dude. But what about so, a Zelda maker? That'd be dope. Are you like, well, that'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah. I, well, I need dialogue. I won't do it without dialogue. I think you can make oh, you can put full NPCs campaigns. and stuff. Okay. Okay, I will be on board. We will do, I will be on board doing like whatever it is, a show, a marathon stream mm-hmm. of making a whole like Zelda game yeah. in Zelda Maker if it ever happens. Like yes. a 300 hour long Zelda game. <laughs> 300 hours. But it's going to be good. Domiani Zelda game? Yeah. Please. Well, I'll know all of us. Yeah. Like I want to like, I want you're the, the creative e- director. We'll I want you the dark- easy no. allies. Yeah, he's the level designer. You can you're be lore creative, master. Yeah, the creative. <laughs> Kyle's like the character director. designer who's yeah, like, yeah. okay, this is a good character. A lot of this weird character. A lot of weird says, freaky you. boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know the reason for why everything's here. It's like, okay, yeah. what's its reason? You know, yeah. that exist. And I'll just push the whole thing sadder. Yes, please. That'll be my job. Sad Zeldas are good Zeldas. You can compose yeah. original music in it. Oh, boy. There we go. Synth. You can hook up your synths and compose. Synth ah. Zelda is G- a really good Core gadget. Idea. There yeah. you go. That's like a big thing. Like, I, Actually, I'm surprised Mario Maker doesn't let you do that either yet. Because that was part of like oh, Mario Paint yeah. was making your own music. I'm surprised they n- n- not gone that direction with that yet. They kind of do in a weird way. But okay, yeah. I'm not. With the, yeah. Oh, Note blocks or whatever. It is. Yeah, there's there are levels where you just run right. And oh, it, like, plays, that. Yeah, 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 okay, that I get. But I meant yeah. like I know, actually yeah. to pick a track that you created to in, uh, implement in a yeah. custom. I think model. it would make it's too much freedom. It would make some levels true horrors. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like giving some people the freedom to make music, and you just know they won't. It's gonna be just. True. But think about the people who are so good at it. Like how uh, it could elevate levels even higher to like higher. They're just so amazing because yeah. this person was also able to inject that on top of just their level creation. I don't know. I'm all for that. But maybe Super Mario Maker 3 yeah. or Zelda Maker will maybe let you do that. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions for this episode. If you'd like to submit questions for consideration for a future episode of Friend code. I almost forgot to name my show for a second. Friend oh, uh, right. I was like, and I turned around. I was like, I was like, uh, friend code. What's it called again? I was like, uh. uh, you need to be a five dollar up patron. The week of our recording, I'll make a post on Patreon calling for your submissions and informing you of what the topics will be for that week as well. You also get this episode as well as episodes of many of our other shows and podcasts uh, early as part of the five dollar and up early access tier. So thank you for that again. Thank you, both of you, for joining me on this very late and very long episode of Friend Code. And everyone else, until next time, may the way of the hero lead to the Triforce.